So we are back with more Phoenix Wright Justice for All. We are in the second case of the game where we pointed out some contradictions involving the bullet hole, I believe, in the dress. We presented the key as the final piece of evidence, and we derailed the trial. It is time to point some fingers, chat. So for people that haven't played the game before, by all means, guess, try to figure out what is going on. But we have a mystery of how people got into the locked room. We're potentially out of a locked room. Let's switch over to the widescreen. I was going to say, hopefully it'll detect it in a moment. There we go. Just had to wake it up a little. So let's continue with the part three investigation. Okay, perfect. I did not misremember where we were. June 21st, 3.24 p.m., Kareen Village. Thank you very much for bringing me home, Mr. Nick. You're welcome. I had to come and look into a few things here today anyway. Okay, I will refrain from making the comment, but people know what comment I'm going to make. It involves one of the characters on the screen. Um, thought about this a little. My mystic Maya didn't kill that nice man. She definitely didn't. Y yes of course, but if she didn't, then someone else did, right? Um, that murderer person. Yes, Pearls. Oh, I see. The head of four is exactly. Wonder what's wrong. She seems sad. I don't know, Phoenix. It's because is it because someone got murdered at her house, Phoenix? I guess we'll just talk to her. So, what did you think of seeing your first trial? Five sixes, true. I was really surprised. Never seen so many people before. Oh, Mystic Maya looks so small and helpless. Well, Maya's already naturally short, so oof. Phoenix now's up the time. And then, a stumpy woman with the roughy clothes. Roughly? Oh, she means Francisca. She had such a bad attitude. Checked it like she had already decided that Mystic Maya did it. I'm gonna tell her what I think of her tomorrow. I wouldn't miss tomorrow's trial for the world. Okay, prosecutors. New topic unlock the murderer. Why was that woman bullying Mystic Maya? Well, she has a thing, Pearl. We'll tell you about it when, when you're older. Well, she's the opposite of a lawyer. A prosecutor. So her job is to prove people guilty. They don't care if someone's innocent. All they care about is if they win. Um... Phoenix... I know, I know you have a very simplistic worldview, but couldn't you just say a lawyer could also defend people even if they're guilty <laughs> to purposely get them off of crimes? Couldn't you just flip it, Phoenix? I'm saying it's not like a, it's not a stretch. <laughs> Th that's terrible. Pearl apparently agrees. But, but she's really good prosecutor with the heart on the inside, right? Dot 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 from Phoenix. Music goes quiet. There's no one like that. All prosecutors are the same. Oof. Judgmental, Phoenix. Well, he might eventually become a good guy. Eventually. He? Who are you talking about, Mr. Nick? Is it that person Mystic Maya was talking about? Mr. Edgyworth? Another flashback to him. That was a long time ago. He's not around anymore. Huh? He clutched onto his foolish pride too fiercely, and died for it. You know, I don't really know where things go in context of the rest of the Phoenix universe, but I just like to say that if he died, this is such a bait. <laughs> or I mean, if he didn't die, this is such a bait sentence. It's like, really, Phoenix? Really? Uh oh, that's too bad. Let's talk about the murderer. By the way. Yes, what is it? Um, you wouldn't have to know anything about who the murderer is, would you? Well, why are you asking me? No, I, I was just thinking earlier. I didn't see anything. She didn't see anything, huh? Speaking of that, during the murder, where was Pearl? What was she doing? And on top of that, this key. Just when did she pick this up? Pearl's alibi. There you go, Chad. It's like... It's like The Simpsons all over again. Maggie did it. Pearl did it. 
We just have to look at which way the body was pointing with their hands, and it'll be like a sundial. I just realized I never asked you what you were doing at the time of the crime. Huh? Pearls, where were you? And what were you doing when the murder happened? Uh, uh. uh what, what, what was I, I, what, what was I doing? I, I wasn't doing anything. She's really bad at lying. You can whisper it to me. I won't tell anyone else, I promise. Uh-oh, chat. Two locks. Ah. Uh. Um, guess you can see through my lie, huh? Yeah, clearly. I can't lie to you, can I, Mr. Nick? Well, not when you give us powers to see your lies, no. Anyway. Well, we have to figure out what's wrong with Pearl's alibi later. So the only thing we can do for now is move forward. June 21st, Fame Manor, Meditation Room. Really empty. Training was supposed to be held today. But I guess it's already over. I'm assuming we have to interact with the urn at some point, so I'm gonna go here first. You know, the, the sacred treasures and all, we need that to come up in the conversations. Looks like no one's here. Even though the weather is gorgeous today, it's raining inside my heart. Okay, that's quite a line. Hmm. Alright, so we don't have any additional comments on the urn yet. Let me move forward then. We'll go to the side room. Side room. The bedding is all laid out today, too. Guess I'll leave them alone for now. Can I investigate the box? Hmm. I keep wondering about this box. I'm sure this wasn't here before the murder took place. Looks like a box for storing clothes, but it's pretty big for just clothes. Yes, Phoenix. Yes, it is. It's mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of channeling costume sit at the bottom. Excuse me. Who am I talking to? There's no one here. Real subtle there, Phoenix. Gee, chat. I wonder if the two things I investigated are related to the plot in any way. Huh. I'm not sure what it wants me to do. Maybe I gotta go to the channeling room first? June 21st, Fay Manor, channeling chamber. Hmm. Looks like Morgan's here too, but she hasn't noticed me yet. What is she doing? Looks like she's talking to a picture. There you go. <laughs> D-chat. <laughs> hmm. That's quite a face. Don't you see? Take a look around. Finally, my chance has come. I've waited for this day for so long. That's right. Prepare yourself, dear Missy. What in the... Who's there? Oh. If it isn't Mr. Wright. Definitely not evil. Yeah, exactly. Um, just curious. But that picture you were just looking at. Oh, today was that event. Was it not, good sir? I heard you did well. Huh. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I am terribly sorry. I could not attend the trial today. Please accept my apology. It's okay. Your your keys knew. Your keys knew what you wanted. <laughs> they were they were convinced too she was evil. Emphasis on E. I had a previous engagement, as I had to watch over the trainee's training today. I get the sense she really doesn't want to talk about the picture. All because the master can't be here with us, you understand. And that is why a lowly branch member, such as myself, must do this. Okay, we'll talk to her now. Let's ask what happened. Have you remembered anything about the murder? No. I told you everything I know already. Were you in this room the whole time Lada and I went to call the police? Yes, of course. I was by Mystic Maya's side the entire time. I performed the spirit severing technique and held her in my arms afterward. Hmm. Said that yesterday as well. Did anything else happen? I would like to say more did. However, that is all that occurred. Ah, surely hoping for some new info. 
I suppose nothing happened in the end, good sir. Sorry to have played on your hopes. Could you possibly be more patronizing? Let's ask about the training. So do the students train here every day? Yes, absolutely. They were given a day off the, the day after the murder, of course, however. And I assume both Maya and Pearls went through this training? Mr. Wright! Uh, yes, yes! Wow, she got real scary real fast. How many times must I tell you before you understand, good sir? They are to be addressed as Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. So sorry, I meant Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. Wait, I'm sorry, but Mystic Pearl? Isn't that going a bit too far? Next question, please. Oh man, she's really being a pain in the butt about this. Oh no, chat, what a pain. Please remember to watch not only what you say, but how you say it, good sir. Let's ask about the master. So the master is, uh, Maya's mother, right? Mystic Misty. She is a brilliant medium. And where is she now? We are not sure. Not sure? About 16 or 17 years ago, Mystic Misty failed at a channeling a certain spirit. And after that, she simply disappeared. Dot 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 from Phoenix. I don't believe she will return to this village, in any case. And in four year time, her name will be forever erased from this village. Erased? A person who's been away from the village for over 20 years is considered dead. Oh, uh, I see. And that is four years from now for her. When that happens, a new master will be appointed to Karain Village. And... Mystic Maya was supposed to become the next master. However, with this murder, I'm afraid. Must be imagining things. She was laughing to herself for a second there. Hmm. Oh yeah, I don't think there's anything else I have to look at at the moment. So let's present our badge because it's funny. What do you think about this? I am terribly sorry, but I'm afraid my spiritual powers are not as strong as you might think. I really am terribly sorry. Um, this has nothing to do with your spiritual power. Oof. One day, chat, we'll get it acknowledged again. Hmm. Weird. I feel like we should have been able to talk to somebody here. I wonder if I missed something. Because I don't think we could do anything with Pearl yet. I mean, I could try to talk to her, maybe. You really won't tell me about what you were doing at the time of the murder? Hmm. Sorry. But with the magnetoma, I can unlock your Psylocke, right? Yes. Uh, what should I do? Should I tell you what my secret is? You would just tell me. It'd be easier for the both of us. I'm so nervous. Charles is holding the key to this whole case. I can feel it. Speaking of keys, this one turned out to be quite important, too. Didn't think it would be literally the key to today's trial, though. Okay. So it won't let me do it. Maybe I just had to view that conversation. As I said before, we should have been able to interact with something by now. Hmm. We still can't, though. Interesting. Nothing new here. We already know about the bear statue. I wasn't sure what that was the first time. We've investigated these. We looked at the dresser. We didn't get any information. We looked at the bed. The very suspicious bed, but we can't do anything with it yet. We investigated the urn, but we couldn't do anything with that. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could go back to the other place if I need to. I just would have thought we would have been able to get a bit further here. 
Because I, I clearly can't do anything unless I want to try to present stuff. Hmm. So maybe I have to move back to the village and try leaving? Go back to the law center briefly. But in company law offices. This case has had me out of the office most of the time. Come back tomorrow. Something my should be my top priority now. Okay, so the game is acknowledging I don't need to do anything, but let's take a look outside. There's a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high class luxury hotel. Oh, nothing new there. That's kind of sad. Okay. Then I will go to the detention center. June 21st, detention center visitor's room. I must still be in questioning. I'll probably be done in a little bit, so I'll come back later. Okay, so she's not here. So there's something that I've missed. But I don't think we have enough information to do anything. So I'm not sure what the game... I'm actually genuinely not sure what the game wants me to do. So ultimately, we need to find new objects to interact with. So we can't interact with the urn. We can't interact with the basket. We can't interact with the bed. So those would have been like the most obvious things to go for. So I'm looking for like a conversation trigger. We've talked to her on every topic. Hmm. We can't do anything with her. I could present the uh, holding screen to see what she does. There are six parts to the Crane's sacred writings. To think this is the valued treasure of our village. And Mystic Maya were both shot... Oh, the, the treasure and Mystic Maya were both shot by a gun. Well, that's... Even if it was something that occurred during a channeling, it is an unforgivable act. Hmm. What do you think about this? Oh, she doesn't have any comments about it. Okay, so she did acknowledge that there's a gunshot in it now. But that doesn't really give us more to work with. So now we're looking for the Phoenix plot trigger chat. What did I not do? What did I not look at? Unless unless I am able to present something to Pearls, but I don't think we have any alibi information yet until we get something new entered in. Hmm. Weird. Hmm. Because I, I don't think I want to present the... I don't think I want to present the key to her. I'm just going to get injured. Maya's costume doesn't make sense. I could look at it again, but I don't think that's going to help me. Like, we've looked at the photos. What else do I need to do to trigger a conversation is the question. I mean, I could present something to... I could try to present one of these people to the other character. I don't see why I would do that yet, though. So, like, if I wanted to ask about these two, I guess I could, in theory. Hmm. <laughs> I'm now thinking it over, Chad. So, ultimately, we know we need to get an understanding of where the key was in order to proceed. But we're also at the point where there's no one to talk to, which is a little weird. I don't think we've ever had this situation before outside of uh, the first time we played uh, Phoenix Wright on like the final episode where like the plot just didn't advance because I didn't look at one thing. But it's like, I feel like I did look at everything, though, so I'm not sure what I'm missing. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Maybe maybe I do have to present her some evidence. Because I mean, like, other than that, I really can't think of what it would be. But anyway, let's go back here. I mean, it feels like so early. Like, do I really have to present one piece of evidence this early? Okay, we'll try. If so, that's kind of awkward. Pearl's alibi. Oh, I'm still injured for some reason. That kind of sucks. Okay. Okay, so so she's still refusing to say it, but we offered an alternative. We'll say, if you can't say what it is, maybe we'll guess it. And she says, what? Y you could do that. 
You'll tell me if I guess something right, won't you? Yes. Now, when the murder was taking place, you were here, right? Okay, so... Uh... I'm gonna guess... I'm gonna guess she was in the winding way. But again, it feels really preemptive to make this guess, which is awkward. You were here, weren't you, Pearls, in the winding way? Wow, you got it. So, do you think you could tell me now? I'm sorry, not yet. Man, oh man. All right, what next? Okay, I think I know what you were doing there. Do you really know that much? Well, I am a lawyer, you know. Now, what was it in... Pearls was doing in the winding way. Do I just present the key now? Like, I, I need, like, another piece of evidence with the key, which is why I didn't want to do this. So I don't know if they want me to do this now or afterwards. So I'll try to present the key and see if this advances the plot. So, feel just a little better, huh? You're a lawyer, but you're also still just a person after all. Okay. Well, I don't have the thing that I need to do... Okay. Okay, let, let's cancel. Okay, so they don't want the key there. Can I just present the key here to get something? About this key, Pearls. You found it on the day of the murder, right? Yes. Now, where you found this key is very important. So, please tell me, Pearls. Where did you find this? Um, I found it in the incinerator. Okay, now we should be able to advance the dialogue. The incinerator? Hmm. She's talking about the one in the garden? I guess that's somewhat fair. I just would have thought we could have investigated without being told this conversation, but that's fine. We'll not put a strike against the game. I'll just be sad a little bit. Oh dear, indeed. The girl on it was a little... Oh, excuse me. The door on it was a little open, so I took a peek. When was that? It was after the channeling, when everyone was in a panic. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Nick? Yes? Are you going to tell my mother? Huh? You mean tell Morgan what you did? Yes, if she finds out that I was playing in the leftover trash, I'll get a spanking. Ah, uh, gotcha. Well, let's keep it a secret from her then, alright? Hmm, incinerator, huh? Sounds like a good place to search next. I mean, I've been searching it the whole time. Did we really have to be told to check out the incinerator? Wouldn't that be the first thing? Didn't you learn anything from your first case, Phoenix Wright? Okay, now we're getting new dialogue. Hey, there's someone by the incinerator. Oh. Looks like they've noticed me. They're now running at top speed towards me. Oh, hey. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're that dentist guy. Actually, it's Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nice to see you again. It's true, I did make an assumption. I keep forgetting, he needs to be told to look at things instead of you just doing it on your own. Oh, like, real suave. So it's like my turn. It's nice to see you too. Just throw her in the incinerator, says chat. So what's up? You're all out of breath. L like, huh? Oh, like, you mean... Like, I'm just totally happy and, like, totally excited to be here. Yeah, you like that suspicious cloth we could help see sticking out that I couldn't look at earlier? Excited? Like, I mean, there are so many things to, like, see. It's, like, the real deal here. Oh, really? For example... For example, like, that urn over there. Do you, like, know about it? All I see is an old cracked piece of pottery. Anyway, I'm gonna ignore you and look at this. That's right. The girl said she found this key inside the incinerator. I guess I should take a look inside my for myself. What do you mean inside? Are you really not gonna comment about the ridiculous outfit sticking out of that? This, this is from Maya's costume. Take a, t take a shot every time she says like or totally. Yeah, you're gonna die if you do that. Don't do that. There's blood on it. A tiny bit, but still. Plot scrap. Unburned remains found inside the garden incinerator. Small amount of blood is on it. Plot scrap has been added to the court record. So someone tried to burn this. And this key was also found in there. Hmm. I get the feeling this incinerator played a crucial part in this murder. Phoenix, do you... Phoenix, it was like your second case. <laughs> Do you not remember Old Bag and the Incinerator? 
I'm gonna guess not. It's It always involves the incinerator. Anyway, let's talk about the sacred urn. Is there some sort of legend connected with that urn? Like, yeah! Oops, I didn't mean to minimize that. It's like this village's treasure! Huh. Didn't know that. I'll let her speak for a little bit. Oop, she had a short sentence there. And like, it's sealed inside that urn! Also, I like that it says the words I am on it now. Oops. Um, it's? What are you talking about? Old bag hasn't been mentioned, thus she no longer exists. That's fair. Like, you know... Amy Faye's spirit. Amy Faye? Who's that? Like, jeez, Mr. Smith. Get with the program. Everyone knows the lady that founded the crane channeling technique was Mystic Amy. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I like how it doesn't say Amy anymore. Phoenix lacks object permanence, it's true. Um, you don't have to get upset with me. So, like, as long as your spirit, like, lives in that urn, the spiritual power of the Faith family will stick around. Like, isn't that totally romantic? Um, romantic, huh? That urn is really as important as she says. It could be a vital clue. Oh, now you want to add it to your clue? You idiot. What happened? Eni, I'm gonna ask you about the murder. Murder? Dr. Gray's remember? As if there's another one. Oh, that one! Like, you should have said so in the first place. So, like, I totally don't know anything because I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Well, that's not much help. Did you notice anything at all? Like, come on, what a total bore. I, like, totally have nothing to do with this, like, murder thing. Oh, yeah. You only introduced Dr. Gray to Crane Village. No relation, sure. Oh, Phoenix is practicing his sarcasm there. I hate it! I hate Chad hates it, it, apparently. Even if you were only acquaintances, that still means you knew him. Furthermore, your sister, who died in the accident, was a nurse at his clinic. Let's ask about the traffic accident. Alright then, why don't you tell me about your sister's fatal accident? Like, why? You think, like, it's got something to, like, do with the murder? Holy, three likes in a row, almost. I don't know yet, but I'm trying to chase down every lead I can. Uh-oh, chat. Da da Psy- Psylox? Like, what is it? Looks like I'm gonna need something to pry her mouth open on this one. Okay, so we can't go any further there. Can I please add this to the- thing, finally. So there's a spirit in this urn, huh? Hmm. All I see are a bunch of cracks. But I guess maybe the spirit could live in the space between the cracks. Hmm. Looks like something written on it. I am. Huh? Weird. Maybe face spirit is still within its ship and cracked all over. Sacred urn adds to the court record. Okay, I'm gonna try moving to the other room, and if nothing happens, we'll go back to the detention center. I don't see anything else to interact with here, so let's leave. Let's see if this was long enough for uh, Maya to come back. I think we need just like one more piece of evidence and then we can maybe unlock Pearl's alibi. Let's see if she's back. She is. Hey Nick, I've been waiting. You look so helpless. So, so how was it? What did you find out? Um, well, found a few things. Is it so bad that you can't even look me in the eye? I... I just need a little more time. It'll all come together by tomorrow, I promise. I'm sorry, Nick. Every time I see you, all I do is cause trouble. She really does, Chad. She really does. Let's talk to her. Today's trial. So how was it? Today's trial, I mean. You were fantastic, Nick. Every time I thought our goose was cooked, he managed to turn it all around. I bet it would make a great Hollywood movie. <laughs> Very presumptive of this game. Don't be silly. We have to concentrate on the trial. We're gonna win this, Maya. Thanks a lot. Really. Hey, Nick? 
person who shot Dr. Gray wasn't me, was it? Of course not. You're completely innocent. If that were true, I'd be really happy, but... There wasn't anyone else in that room with the two of us, right? Well, did you check behind the folding screen? Um, took a quick glance, but there wasn't anyone there. Hmm. That's exactly what Lada said, too. I'm gonna do not guilty. Um, Nick? Yeah? Why do you believe in me? Why do you think I didn't kill Dr. Gray? Because of something Mia told me. My sis? What did she tell you? She said that spirit mediums can't have dreams. When you're channeling, it's impossible for you to dream because your soul leaves you. Now that you mention it, wait then, then I really am? You are not the real murderer. I think that maybe before you even called the spirit, you were drugged. Drugged? I think this was planned from the very beginning. And you were set up to take the blame for killing Dr. Gray. That's... That's... Pearl's alibi. I want to ask you something about Pearl's. Early? What about her? No matter what I try, she won't answer me. I want to know what she was doing at the time of the murder. Huh? Wait, Nick! You don't think she did it, do you? No, no, nothing like that. She'd never do anything like that, you hear me? Never! She's a great kid and really cute and really great and cute. I didn't really think she was the murderer. But she's definitely hiding something. Hmm. You were with her on that day, right? Yeah. The two of us. We were playing with her ball. There we go. That sounds like the piece of evidence we need. A ball, huh? Sounds like a dead end to me. No, it sounds like we finally can advance the plot. Let's talk about the ball. So, about this ball. It's nothing really special. Just a plain old ball. I think she was still playing with it when I started the channeling job that day. Really, really loves to play with that ball. She loves to play with that ball, huh? She wants to get it. She always climbs right into the clothing box. There we go. Finally, we can interact with the clothing box in a meaningful way. The clothing box? Yeah. Curly's always hiding in there. Hmm. You know the side room? There's a clothing box in there. I know. I keep investigating and we just refuse to open it for some reason. It's really big. So once you see it, I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about. The clothing box in the side room, huh? Okay, now I think we can get what I was looking for. June 21st, Crane Village. Ah. Uh. Ah! Uh. We scared Lada. Hey, wait, please, Lada! She ran off into the manor. Go into the meditation room. June 21st, meditation room. Lada. Ah! Hey. I'm telling you, quit following me, you hear? I'm a worthless piece of trash. You lay eyes on me and they'll turn to dust. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna keep- I'm actually just gonna ignore her. If she's going this way, it's her fault. Nope, don't care about this. Side room time. Oh, now the ball is just there, right, chat? Thanks. <laughs> cool. Pretty sure I saw a lot of run in this direction, but it doesn't look like she's here. Anyway. It's Pearl's ball. Oh no, steel samurai chat. I said it's always kept in the clothing box. Hmm, right chat? Hmm. So then, what is it doing on the floor? Pearl's favorite toy, she's playing with this at the time of the murder, it seems. Pearl's ball has been taken. Okay, now I think I have enough in order to talk to Pearl. Do we have a spooky image of Amy Faye? Green channeling technique founder, legend says her soul is sealed within the sacred urn. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we just gotta find Pearl. I'm assuming she's in the meditation chamber, because we went everywhere else. Or channeling chamber, or whatever. Hey, Morgan. Yes, what is it? Must you be so noisy? We have a rule here. The hallway is not for running. Now then, in a calm manner, ask your question. Okay? Anyway, did you see Lada come here? Ah, uh, that girl from the Heartland. 
I'm sorry, but she did not pass by here at any time. Ugh, Lada. No, no, waste a man's time. Oh, just you wait, Phoenix. You have not seen time wasting until that final case. Huh. Is she back at the village? No. We're, we're playing the game of where is she? Didn't see her here. I don't think we could do anything with her yet. Do I just... Unless she's like... No. Hmm. Very weird, Chan. So we're just, we're playing hide and go seek. I don't care about Lada. Lada is whatever at this point. It's more just making sure that we have everything we need. Hmm. Oh, you know what? You know what? Do I have to re-exam- Oh, I have to re-examine the clothing box. You got me. I didn't look at it, even though I looked at it earlier. It's the clothing box where Pearl's ball is usually kept. See, those are the kinds of things, chat, that make me roll my eyes. Like, you all saw me investigate this earlier, and I'm like, oh, right. It, it just didn't count then. <laughs> even three times I did it before. Okay, now we should be able to get this in the court record. It's the clothing box where Pearl's ball is usually kept. I wonder what's inside. So what you're saying is a small, a small medium is at large. Nice one, Dango. I like that. Ah! What? What were you doing in there? What were you thinking? I'm a bad person. Just another piece of human trash. Needed a hole to crawl into. So, you crawled into the clothing box because there wasn't a hole to crawl into? Oh, man. Huh? There's a small hole in the clothing box. It's about eight inches off the ground. Chat. Hmm. That's the same height as the hole in the folding screen. Then could this... Oh, wait, wait. Phoenix is putting... Wait, Phoenix is drawing a connection between evidence and his own inventory without me needing to do anything? <gasps> he did it, chat. He's learning. Or learning. <laughs> Depending on how you view it, honestly. Clothing box. There's a hole that looks like a bullet hole. About eight inches off the ground. His brain cell is braining, exactly. Thought for, I thought I felt my soul take off for a sec when Lada jumped out at me. It was big enough to fit a grown adult. Well, if she can be called an adult. Okay, now we should be good. I mean, I don't think we... Maybe we did need this for talking with Pearl. I'm not really sure. Alright, now she's here. Oh, I'm sorry. I confused the channeling room and the meditation room, but it looks like she's here anyway, so I guess that works out. June 21st, Fay Manor Meditation Room. Oh, Mr. Nick, the person ran by here just now. What person? Um, you know. The person with the fluffy cotton candy hair. Ah, uh, she means Lada. Hmm. She said, don't look at me with the eyes, but... I'm not that scary, am I? I don't think that's quite what she meant. Oh, that's right. She also wanted me to tell you. Going on a trip to find myself, so don't you bother finding me. Oh, well, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, now I think we have everything we need. So let's try this again. Take that. Welcome, Nate. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so we're going to skip this since we already know this portion. Alright, so... I mean, I just straight up guess Winding Way. And it looks like that was correct from last time, so I'm just going to continue with this. So now that we have her ball... We should be able to present this here, because that's logically what she was doing there. So let's present it. Take that! Take that! You were playing with this ball, right? Oh, that's right. How how did you know? Maya told me you love to play with your ball. Um, yeah. I was playing with my ball. Uh-huh. And then? Something happened, huh? Something really bad. She gulps. Well, what do you mean, something? No, 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 nothing happened. This is it. We were playing with your ball. This happened. Well, obviously she destroyed the urn. So we're just gonna go ahead and present this. Take that. Take that! This urn. It's a village treasure, right? Uh, 
Um... And the spirit of the founder of the crane technique is sealed in here, isn't it? Y yes What's this? It's cracked all over, isn't it? There's even a few gaps here and there. Um, please don't tease me. Pearl, you broke the sacred urn, didn't you? The ball smacked into it and knocked it over, right? And Morgan found out she'd get really mad, huh? She doesn't seem to be fighting back. They get the bullseye this time. But it's strange the lock hasn't broken yet. It's, it's a really old urn, isn't it? I, I guess. It's so old, so it's not that weird to have a few cracks. Her voice is shaking. How can you tell that the urn has been broken? We're going to present the profile of Amy Fay. Take that. Who started the crane channeling technique? Huh? Oh, it was uh, Mystic Amy. That's right. How do you spell her name? Do you know? How do I spell her name? Uh, I don't know. I know, take that. Welcome, Kirk. It's spelled A-M-I. Ah! I thought it was a little odd when I saw I am written on this urn. And that's how I knew that someone must have broken this urn. And made a mistake in spelling when they put it back together again. We destroy the child, chat. Take that. Unlock successful. There we go, back at full health. So at least we got to see the health mechanic of the game. Pearl's alibi. From when Mystic Maya started channeling on that day, I was playing in the winding way with my ball. And that's when you broke the urn? E yes, I broke it. I I accidentally let Mystic Amy's spirit fly away. I think if we remember correctly, wasn't it already cracked when we came here the first day? I don't think that's a spoiler. I'm pretty sure it was damaged before the incident happened. Or maybe it wasn't. I'm trying to think if we went to the room afterwards immediately or not. I guess it's possible we didn't go there before. As I remember coming in, we went to the meditation room. Then we waited outside. Maybe we didn't go that way? Yeah, we went there afterwards. Never mind, we didn't see the before. Don't worry. Morgan will never know, okay? I'm a real bad child. Breaking a village treasure is unforgivable. I was trying to think because I was like, was it cracked the first day? But I guess we didn't look until after the murder. I thought that maybe they would make me leave the village. But the broken pieces were pretty big, so... You thought you could put them back together and no one would notice. Yes. Let's ask about the sacred urn. I found some glue and brought it to the hallway and fixed the urn there. The hallway? You mean winding way? Yes. The channeling had already started, so I didn't think anyone would walk by. Hmm, I see. So about how long did it take you? Must have been a nasty repair job. Yes, might be strong at spiritual things. When it comes to arts and crafts, I'm not nearly as skilled. When I had finished fixing the urn and looked up, I saw you coming into the manor. So that's around when Lana and I were coming back inside after reporting the murder. I saw that. I packed everything up in a hurry. Um, Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? I'm... I'm gonna get banished, aren't I? I really don't think that's gonna happen. I mean... I bet Mr. Gamey's happy to be freed from that cramped urn. Y yeah I hope so. No harm done and a happy resolution. Phew! Sacred urn updated in the court record. Broken by Pearl Knight right before the murder. Under repair in the hallway until police came. Okay. So I'm going to try leaving and seeing if something happens. Green Village. You. I think I found out everything I can. Totally getting vanished. True. But I can't see how it all adds up. Hmm. <laughs> Is any meanie being here just a coincidence? Hey, mister. How is it that the spirit Dr. Gray wanted to call just happened to be that nurse? And that nurse turns out to be Eni's sister. It's too... convenient. Hey, Phoenix, I'm talking to you. Wish I knew a little more about Eni. But where am I going to find info like that? Oh, I get it. Y'all can't be bothered to look over at trash like me. Is that it, Mr. High and Mighty? 
Didn't she say not to look for her? Ah, uh, Lotta? Oh, so you finally noticed. Thought I heard a mosquito buzzing in my ear, but I couldn't understand a word. Oof. Big oof, getting burned by Phoenix, in his, ment in his head at least. Well, I gotta hand it to you. You sure know how to chase down garbage. I mean, I'm grateful to you for chasing this large lump of... What a weird sentence. Let me try again. I mean, I'm grateful to you for chasing this large lump of one around like this. Long sentence. Um, thanks? But you know, you're just wasting your time. I'll be fine on my own. What are you going on about? As And as for following or chasing or whatever it is, isn't that what you're doing? Um, well, you see... Well, you're not exactly a real gentleman with a lady's heart, are you? You're not exactly the world's number one charmer either, sister. Oof. That's a bad look for you, Phoenix. Bad look. Mm -mm. Let's talk to her about today's trial. Look, I'm really dang sorry about today. When I get all fired up about something, it's impossible to stop me. Hurt Maya really badly, Lotta. Um... I don't suppose you could forgive a gal like me? Uh, we'll forgive her. It might be plot-related that I have to do it anyway. Well, I guess I can. You did help Maya out, too, after all. For real? Yeah, for real. Oh, thank no goodness. Mercy. I'm still... No mercy, says chat. I'm still... what? No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Just talking to myself, you know, gibberish. Now then. A lot of heart at your service. I'll share with you all the dirt I've dug up. Uh, thanks. Hey, don't be all surprised. Tell you what, I'll even give you all this info for free. Lotta not taking money? Now I know this one's an alien clone. Oh, that's like a laugh track moment right there, Chad. Let's ask about the murderer. If Maya's not the real murderer, then... Who do you think it is, Lotta? Well, heck, ain't it obvious? It's that occult freak. You mean Eeny Meeny? Well, there ain't anyone else it could be, right? That granny, you and me, we're all together that whole time. So, Lotta suspects Eeny. Which means she might have already found some more info about our mysterious Eeny. Okay. So, I'm going to present the profile, because I feel like I have to do this to get more information. So let's try this. Let's see what happens. Oops. I gotta present through here. Alright. Let's present now that her name has come up and see if we get more info. Huh. That's Eeny Meeny, right? Yeah. I wonder if you know anything about this girl. You know, actually I did a little checking up on her the other day. Her sister, she's the one that Dr. Gray wanted to call back from the spirit world. Yeah. I had heard as much. I'd also heard that Eni was the one who introduced Dr. Gray to Crane Village. You don't say. That's one sneaky gal, if you ask me. Hey, you want me to tell you more about her? Okay, there we go. There we go. Speaking of Eni, do you have any other information about her? Sure. Well, what is it? <laughs> It'll cost you. And it'll cost you a lot. Didn't you say it was free? Oh, silly me. I really thought free meant no money necessary. That girl was a hospitalized about half a year ago. Hospitalized? But why? Well, heck, you can go find out on your own. Huh? Here, I'll give you the clinic's address. Maybe you could find out something. Maybe? What's that supposed to mean? Well, see, actually, it was going to be annoying, I reckon. So I didn't actually go there. Ugh. Well, that's the way the gumbo spoils, right? The gumbo spoils. Not cookie crumbles. Gumbo spoils. That is quite a sentence. Oh, gumbo sounds... Ugh. I mean, look, don't blame this on... Uh, never mind. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. Better go check out this hottie clinic. Is it really called hottie? Oh boy. June 21st, Hottie Clinic, reception. So, this is where Eni was hospitalized. 
Oh my gosh. Is he a drug addict? Why is he scratching himself constantly like this with missing teeth? That is... that's horrendous. <laughs> can can we refer to him into a dentist or something? That's That can't be good for you. Hmm, yes. Are you here to visit a patient, hmm? Uh, yes. Are you a doctor here? Hmm, yes. I'm doctor... I'm Director Hadi. <laughs> Ugh. I didn't think I'd be speaking with the director himself. Hmm, yes. So what can I help you with, hmm? Uh-huh. Stop scratching yourself. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Miss Eeny Meeny. Hmm? Miss Meeny? Miss Eeny Meeny? Hmm. Yes, hmm. Oh, her! Hmm. Oh, it's too bad. I'll tell you something. That girl left here a long time ago. Ooh. I don't like him with his eyes opened, either. Here you are, sir. You know you shouldn't be up and about. Come on, it's back to your room with you. Ah, sweetums, calm down, calm down. Don't be so harsh to an old man like me. Don't you dare start that sweetums thing with me. You don't behave, you'll get yourself tossed out of this hospital. Wow. I think nurses could be this director of forceful towards their boss. Come now. Be a good boy and give me the director's white lab coat. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Hmm, yes. Um, hmm, yes, uh-huh. Don't hmm, yes me. Who in the world are you? I'm Director Hati. <laughs> Nurse went off somewhere. Oh, the inhumanity. Only person I can talk to is this guy. Ugh. Well, blame the writers on that one, Phoenix. Let's ask about the hottie clinic. So, what exactly do you treat at this clinic? Hmm, yes. You all sorts of doctory clinical stuff. Uh-huh, yes. Doctory clinical stuff? <laughs> well, I don't actually know or particularly care about the details. <laughs> hmm, -hmm, yes. What does that look for? Uh, uh, yes. It's a really big general hospital around the corner. Hmm, yes. They can't accommodate everyone. They move some of their patients here. Uh huh. They were learning about his true origin story. You do surgeries here, right? Hmm. Yes. You do plastic surgery here. It seems. Hmm. It seems. Hmm. Yes. Uh huh. It seems that way. Talk about Eeny Meeny. What do you know about Miss Eeny Meeny? Now you're talking- oh, ill. Ill? How does he get worse every pose? It's actually impressive how horrifying he is. Now you're talking, hmm, yes. That girl, she was transferred from the general hospital. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine if chat could just put that face in the chat? <laughs> I would just see it all the time. I don't even know what it would be for, but it would just be there. From the general hospital? To hear? What kind of surgery did she need? Hmm, yes. Well, she needed surgery. It was really bad. Really bad. What kind was it? Hmm, yes. Well, no, no. You see, that is something... No, I can't tell you. So you say with a happy smile on your face, Mr. Director... See, there's this thing about how doctors aren't allowed to talk about patient stuff. It's in all those TV shows too, right? You've seen them too, right? Hmm, yes? I'm never gonna get him to unzip those... broken zipper teeth of his at this rate. There's gotta be something I could do to show to this old coot. <gasps> oh! Can we present the attorney badge? Oh, please tell me this is plot relevant. We're doing it, chat. Hmm? What's this? I'm a lawyer. Right now, I'm investigating a murder. Mm hmm yes. What is with your angry face? Finally, this isn't the answer. Hmm, yes. The trial is tomorrow. And I would really like some information from you. Hmm, is that right? Oh, well, you know, I think I could let you in on a little secret. What's that? Hmm, yes. Actually, I'm not the real director. Are you kidding? He with half the fly's brain knew that. Huh? Oh, what do you mean? I have to explain this to him. Hmm, well, hold on, I'll give you something. Real information, okay? Huh? Actually, this clinic's... See, I'm like this place's... 
Walkin walk Dictionpedia? That's so weird. You mean walking encyclopedia? Yeah, that. My specialty is in young, silky smooth, haughty patience. Ugh. Something I don't know about them. But I get embarrassed talking about it. Yeah. How about you keep that kind of information to yourself? <laughs> anyway, wanted to know about Little Miss Eeny Meeny, right? Little Miss Eeny Meeny? That girl, I remember especially well. Really, especially very well. Gross. Let's ask about Eeny Meeny again. Please tell me about when you know about Eeny Meeny, which I feel like is an increasing mistake as we go forward. Mm, yes. I'll get to that. Trust me, I will. That girl, that's right. She's transferred here from the General Hospital. This was, hmm, yes, a year ago. She's one of those emergency cases. What was she ill with? Ill? No, 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 no. She was injured, not ill. My trained eye could see. Yep, I could see it was a huge wound at that. A huge injury. Whole body was wrapped around and round in bandages. Her arm was in a cast. It sounds pretty severe, all right. Hmm, yes. It was an accident. An accident. They're scary, yes. Cars. Hmm, yes. I'm not gonna lie, chat. There's some of the speech gimmicks in the game, like, ugh. It's reminding me of the purposely terrible character in, um... Uh, that was kind of bumming around in the shack in the first game. Except that was more of a facade and they were lying to us. Where no, this character is just naturally like this and has no redeemable qualities. <laughs> Thanks, game. Par, you mean it was a traffic accident? Yup, that's what gave her the terrible injuries. I swore it was in the papers, hmm. Yes, I looked it all up, I did. It was terrible, hmm, yes. Dare I even ask what is wrong with this old guy? Well, let's ask about the operation. Just now. Mentioned something about a big operation? Hmm? Talking about Miss Eenie, Eenie's operation? E yes, Miss Eenie's. That, uh... That was one heck of an accident. Hmm, yes. Whole face was burned like bad toast. It was bad, very bad. Was it really that bad? Hmm. It's a good thing that Missini had a picture of herself. But the picture was how they put her face back together. Hmm. Picture? That girl, you see, she had, uh... She just gotten her license. So she just happened to have a license photo on her. Hmm, yes. Oh. So see, I got her picture. So we didn't remember her, yes. But more like swiped. Ew. Um, reach of ethics? Oh, wait. What? What? Oh, a pretty girl like her. But she's lots of pictures of herself. Um, sure. It's a treasure. My treasure. Precious. Would he go, would he go golem on us there for a second? Okay. What happened to the actual license itself? Who knows, I didn't bother to ask. Something got burned up along with the car. Hmm, yes. License photo added to the court record. He needs photo for a driver's license, director Hottie's treasure possession. Let's go to the accident. Um, so you looked up information on Eni's accident, correct? Yep, yep, sure did. Hmm, yes. Read every paper that covered it at the time. What kind of accident was it? Do you remember? Hmm, yes. Hold on. I'll go get it for you. The article, I mean. He just has it on him? Huh? You have it? Well, well, don't get me wrong. But something like this might come up, so... Obsessive to the max. But I bet I could learn about how to stay on a lead from this guy. Ew, don't learn anything from this guy. Phoenix, no. Ah, here we go, here we go. Hmm, yes. According to this, Missini was in the passenger seat. Hmm. That's a little suspicious. The passenger seat, huh? 
and dozing, or so it says. Strong Jolt woke her up, and the next minute, a sea of fire was all around her. Vicini fought with the door, finally got it open, somehow managed to get away. Anywho, you can read all the details in the article here. Hmm, yes. Newspla newspaper Clipping 2, articles about the car accident, updated in the court record. New clue. Should probably look this over. Actually, I do want to look it over before we go further. Wait. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's in here. Are they put it in the middle? I wave nightmares, May 24th. Late last night, two women's cars crashed into a highway center divide. One of the women was unable to escape the flaming wreckage and died at the site. Hmm. Ongoing investigations revealed the driver had fallen asleep at the wheel. Missy and Imini holds interview about crash. I was like totally tired. I dropped off to sleep. There was this crash and I was like, I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep, but I opened the right door and like got out. I don't like remember anything else. Doctor lurking in the shadows. If Missy and Imini is to be believed, the one driving the car was her sister, Mimi Mini. Mimi 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 Mini, I guess we'll call her was the nurse at the Gray Surgical Clinic where 14 patients were accidentally overdosed to their death. Is this then just a mere coincidence? Hmm. It's been half a year since Messini had her surgery and got better. She was discharged sometime in December last year. It's already been half a year, huh? Hmm, yes. So how was I? I was a real help, wasn't I? Hmm, yes. Yes, thank you very much. Hmm, yes. Well then, I'll be getting back to my room. Tell me, Sini, I said hi, okay? Hmm, yes. Time for me to leave, too. Hmm, yes. Oh, okay, it's definitely time to leave. I guess I'd examine things, even though it's not needed. This is the clinic's reception desk, but it doesn't look like there's anyone at the counter. On the wall is this month's word to the wise. Do something in vain, and your only reward is tiredness. Hmm, exactly the best thing to be telling your patients, is it? This patient is undergoing rehabilitation. Look at that strained face twisting in all those ways. And then a oily sweat. Mmm. Whole body swaying back and forth. Wobble wobble like he's about to fall. Mmm, yes. Hey, don't just cut into my monologue like that. I'm explaining things here. Oh, sorry. Mmm, yes. Oh, sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. This must be the waiting area. I got the feeling of one in there. Sofa's lined up. I don't see that many patients. Mmm, yes. Well, it's not the quality. Well, excuse me, it is the quality, not the quantity, that counts. Uh-huh. What in the world did that have to do with anything? I wonder where that door way down there leads to. Oh, that's the x-ray room. Hmm, yes. How did you know what I was thinking? Hmm, yes, well, it's because that x-ray room. Uh-huh, yes. There's something very peculiar about this guy, because I know it's not me. Don't worry, Phoenix. It could also be you. Also, what's this painting? No, we're not going to comment about the battleship painting. Why is there a battleship painting in the hospital? Kind of curious now. What's this lore chat? Let's go back to the village. June 21st, first Crane Village. Hey, so how was it? Did you go to the clinic? Yeah. Found out a few things, I guess. What's the matter? You ain't looking so well. Oh, yeah, so earlier, the old granny called the cops. Huh? The cops? Why would... Why would Morgan call the police? She said she had something to tell him. Things are sure getting interesting. Hmm... Well, I don't really want to talk to her unless there's new information. Oh, wait, there is new. Fine, then I'll talk to you again. Let's ask about Morgan. Ah, oh, but honestly, I tell you, that granny sure got her bloomers in a knot. Well, I guess you could put it that way. No, he starts out small, you know. Stealing the master see? Controlling the village folk. And now you see what it's turned into? A murder, that's what. Yeah, what a mess. Uh, hey, hold on. What? The stuff you were just talking about. It's the first time I've heard of it. Huh, really? Well, it's old news to everyone else in the world. 
well, excuse me, princess, for not keeping up with the gossip while I'm busy saving people. You said something about stealing the master's seed? Yup. Right now, the master is this medium named Misty Faye, but the one that was really supposed to be the master was that old granny. Morgan was supposed to become the master. Talk about Eenie Meenie. You know where Eenie is, Lada? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She's hanging around that garden in the middle. Okay, thanks. I've got something to ask her. Yeah, I've got a whole list of things only she could clear up for me. Let's ask about the master. So I hear the master has always been the eldest daughter. The eldest daughter? Turns out that old bat is Misty Faye's older sister. Uh-oh. They say the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. Come to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. She warned me not to take Mia's power lately. Well, anyway, somehow Granny there lost to her younger sister, Misty. I see. This made the townsfolk turn against her, so I hear. Said all sort of things, too, like, she's the oldest, yet she doesn't have the power to be the next master. Disgraceful. Wow. I had no idea. So, what would have happened had Morgan been stronger? Maya's family would have been the branch family, I reckon. Well, Chad, it sounds like we're establishing motive across different characters. Let's go to the meditation room. Let's go to the Winding Way. June 21st, Fame Manor, Winding Way. Hey, like, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I think I have enough to find a way to unlock her secret. Like, what's with that scary look on your face? <laughs> right, chat, just immediately take that. I'm not talking to her further. I guess that's why Mia's still sick around possessing people to help Phoenix. She's too powerful to die. Traffic accident, chat. Please, tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally. Oh, um, oh, yeah. So, like, that Dr. Gray guy made my sister fall asleep. And, like, that's all I have to say about that. Hmm. Interesting. And he just asked whose accident. Which means, she must know something about another person's accident. Alright, let's change the topic then. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like, you got someone in mind? Do I just present Mimi at this point? Oh, she's- okay, she's playing dumb about it. Oh wow, so like, that person had a car accident too? You can't tell me you don't know. Like, how would I know if that person, like, had an accident? Okay. She's gonna be coy about it, that's fair, I'll take the penalty on that one. Oh. Besides, like, I'm an occult fan, not an ambulance chaser like you. I see what she did there, that's fair. I'll- I'll take the burn on that one. All right, I get it. Okay then, let's see if you know about this person's accident. All right, so I'm gonna present... Okay, so if they don't care about the sister for that one, let us present the license photo. Take that. Take that. I'm gonna ask you about your own car accident. But me? Yes. So wow, like, how strange. I have like no idea what you're talking about. Can you like prove I was like in an accident? Okay. Well, then we're just going to present the second thing. Take that. take that. Would you take a look at this? It's a newspaper article from one year ago. It says, Miss Yinimani holds interview about crash. Ah, oh, you suffered a very bad injury. Had to be admitted to a hospital, correct? But like, wait. What now? That's not me. Huh? I mean, like, this person has, like, the same name, but she's totally not me. My name, Eenie Meenie, is, like, pretty common. <laughs> what in the world are you babbling about? Your sister's name, Mimi Miney, is in here, too. Like, totally, wow. What a scary coincidence. Totally getting, like, goosebumps. You think I'm gonna let you get away with that? 
So, like, now what? Like, do you have something that totally says I was hospitalized? Uh, do I just literally present the same thing again? I think I do. Take that. This is your proof. Like, what's that picture supposed to mean? Oh, maybe the game... Maybe the game intended you to show the profile in the first one. It's just awkward when she's like, I want to see proof. And then, like, I show her the license. And then she's like, no, I really want to see proof. And then just show her the license again. And then it works. <laughs> like, think about it from, like, the in-game universe. That's very silly. <laughs> they should just... They should not have to make me present it twice if I already presented it once. Like, what's that picture supposed to mean? Got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at. I saw someone's also named Borden, I mean Eeny Meeny, pretty much. Huh, so? There was a certain patient there. He's quite a fan. As a memento of your stay, he stole this. I have to say, this photo looks like you. That creepy fake director. Psylocke gone. Now are you ready to tell me about the accident? No, because there's obviously one more. Like, wait a second. Okay, so, like, I was in an accident, sure. But that's, like, totally not related to this murder. Actually, it is. Look at this article. Oops, I skipped the dialogue briefly. You saying it... It had your sister in it, I believe is what he said. And? That woman who died. Do you... Who do you suppose they mean? You suppose the woman who died in the accident could be? It's fair. Okay, we'll go back to the thing I tried presenting earlier, which was Mimi's profile. Take that! I skipped some steps by accident, it's fine. I believe it was your sister, Mimi Miney. Mimi? You were riding in your sister's car while she drove. The two of you were together when your accident occurred, making it one and the same. There we go. Unlock successful. Traffic accident chat. Yeah, I was riding. <laughs> we have pistol in our evidence? Yeah, we do. Sadly, we can't shoot her. Riding in that car with my sister. We were, like, on our way home. I was riding in the passenger seat when I fell asleep. And then it happened. The time I grabbed from my purse and escaped from the passenger side door and your sister. I like couldn't do anything. Car was full of smoke, couldn't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. That's about Dr. Gray. Did Dr. Gray really cause that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills? Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did that to, like, pay my sister back. Hmm, I wonder. This does give Eni a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. We have a lot of people with motive, Phoenix. Haha, <laughs> it seems simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? But it would be, like, very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. Uh-oh, chat. Now, sh now she's testing the, her luck. What? I think you get the picture. I'm gonna serve you a slice of humble pie. Hope you enjoy it. Ha-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> well. I think she just messed up. Let's try going back to... The village center, see if anything new happens here. June 21st, Korean village. Looks like something's up. Stop, stop, leave my mother alone. Ow, hey, hey, hold on, okay, pal? I'm not gonna hurt. Pearl, dear, it is perfectly all right. I will be out for a short while with this young man. Mother, please, let me go too. No, you must stay here and protect the manor. But... Oh, don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look. It's a real pistol. Detective, do not upset me further. Why does he keep wanting showing his gun to people? 
And that's the dust are not enough for Eni. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, sorry. Hey, kid, look at my gun. Poor gumshoe. Being dragged off by the ear like that by Morgan. Ow. Mother. Any new topics? Okay, we can ask about Morgan. Mother. This has never happened before. Earl. Mr. Nick. I have a really bad feeling I can't shake. Is it that your mother's a monster? Don't worry, she is. I think something really bad is going to happen. It already did, technically. There was a murder. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something, Phoenix. Anything. Ugh, I'm terrible at this. Wow, we don't even say anything to her. Let's ask about Maya. Mr. Nick, what about... What about Mystic Maya? She'll be alright. I think I've gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya, just feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her. Yeah, but... I can't just leave you here all alone either. I'll be fine. Please, Miss Sigmaya needs you by her side. Her stare is really piercing. Ugh. Did we shiver? What? Anyway, well, I was gonna go to the detention center if nothing else happened. June 21st, 6.38 p.m. Detention center, visitor's room. Kept me waiting, Phoenix. Oh. Oh, come on, we're getting assistance again. Oh, come on, Phoenix. Jeez, chat. Big F in the chat. We couldn't we couldn't even finish the investigation without getting assistance from the spirits. Holy, and that's even excluding the Psylocke, which is already its own thing. Too stubborn slash too powerful to die, indeed. Mia! So, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now. I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. No pressure. Everybody's judging you, and the judge is an idiot. Whether Maya is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear. Hmm. Memory serves. Mia had a few Psylocks on, of her own. Oh, actually, I did forget about that, to be honest with you. Not that I super cared. <laughs> Mia. I'm ready to unlock one last piece of information I need now. Sure. I welcome you to try. Let's ask about the murderer first. Mia. Yes? Mia, you know something, don't you? About the real murderer, I mean. There we go. Triple locks. Why, do you think so? It's really trying at times to be able to see other people's secrets. It looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. Yeah, a battle of wits against Mia. <laughs> yeah, we came unprepared on that one. Tomorrow's trial. There's still a whole slew of questions for you to answer before the trial tomorrow. You mean like, how did the real murderer get into the room and kill Dr. Gray? Yes. Also, when did the murderer enter the channeling chamber? You guys were all standing around in front of the room after the channeling started. Which means that the murderer must have gone into that room before the channeling. That's what I think, in any case. But Maya's already said there wasn't anyone else in there. That's true. But we can't figure out the murderer's movements. We're stuck like a beached whale. Certainly a uh, comparison slash metaphor. Hmm. Brain channeling technique. Never thought I'd see this day. You actually asking me about spirit channeling. This case is all about spirit channeling. And I feel like I don't understand a thing about it. Well, it's only natural. After all, spirit channeling isn't exactly an everyday thing, is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. The power to change your physical appearance as the person you're calling was something our ancestor, Mystic Amy Fay, acquired. I've heard that name before. The Fey family was originally a family known for its service to the gods. When Mystic Ami was born, she was given a certain fate through her name. Because, you see, she was named after one of the Buddhas of Buddhism, Amitabha. 
To this day, her soul is still sealed in the crane's sacred urn. Oops. Usually sits in the winding way. Has her name written on it. Um, yeah. Oh, come on, Phoenix. Just a fairy tale. Are you saying that me being able to s see you is just a fairy tale too? Alright, well... Let's take a crack at it, chat. Let's present the Bagatama. Take that! Take that. The murderer. Phoenix? You think I'm hiding information about someone from you? Isn't that right? Yes. Alright then. Tell me who you think I'm protecting. Well... I don't think she would know Eni. And there's only one other person she would be protecting at this point. Let's push Morgan into it. Take that! Take that. Morgan Fay, of course. There's no one else you could protect like this, Mia. Exactly. <laughs> one down. That was easy. Well done, but... Present her the I am urn. Oh, I should have done that, actually. Damn, I think we're not going to get a chance because I'm going to complete this. My bad, Chad. While the murder was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else. How does she know that? I guess we told her, technically. Which means she already has an alibi. That's true. Show me some evidence that would cast suspicion onto my aunt. Uh, well. I guess it would be if she was with Maya the whole time, why would her outfit be burned? I'm gonna go with that logic. Let's present this. Take that. The proof is this piece of cloth. I found it in the incinerator near the winding way. The same material as Maya's costume, except for the splotch of blood. You mean, it's from Maya's costume that she was wearing at the time of the murder. Yes. When Maya was arrested, she was wearing her costume. That just means someone changed her clothes. Changed her clothes? But why? I don't know. But, there's only one person who could have done that. The one person who was talk- who was taking care of Maya. My aunt. What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. Huh? I have no proof this piece of cloth is actually from Maya's costume. But, this blood! And do you know whose blood that is, at this point in time? You don't, do you? Do you have any other proof the piece of cloth is from Maya's costume? Well, the only other thing in the incinerator was the key, so I'm just gonna present this. Take that! I think this is the proof you're looking for. The key to the channeling chamber, huh? At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of this key. And yet, somehow, it magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. You're right. This is what Maya told me. While I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve. Both this key and the piece of cloth were found inside the incinerator. Oh, maybe that was us at the end, never mind. Which means this piece of cloth was part of Maya's costume. It would certainly seem that way. Someone changed her into a different set of clothes, and then burned the costume she was wearing in the incinerator. There's only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya. My aunt. Exactly. You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you could cast suspicion on my aunt. However. However. Like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. Yeah. She's with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof of this for me. But I want to know. My aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? How she did it, huh? I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Cray, who or what did she need? Gee, chat, I wonder, I wonder who could have assisted in the murder. Take that. Definitely not the person that said it's impossible to pin it on me. Definitely not Eeny Meeny. Eeny Meeny, she's the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and Eeny Meeny were in cahoots. <laughs> Unlock successful. Oh, that one went pretty smoothly. Alright, let's present... 
<laughs> I am sacred urn. Come on, Phoenix. Enough time to be looking at things like this. Oh, she doesn't have a comment on it. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you see my badge? Oh, she doesn't want to talk about the badge. Wait, what if I tell her to show my FA? Nope. Fine, we'll talk about the murderer. Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. A person would have to know a lot about Fey Manor and the village itself to do it. But Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. We can assume that Eeny Meeny is involved somehow. But we have one big problem on our hands. A problem? With what? We don't have a motive. What do you mean we don't have a motive? What? What? <laughs> What do you mean? What do you mean? Are, Phoenix, are you are you asleep at the wheel? Like the person having the accident? Dude, did you forget the accident? Did you forget the whole branch family thing? Like, what do you mean? R regardless of who you're talking about here, how is this not established? Holy. Wow, okay. Phoenix Wright, Ace Detective. Dude, you don't remember her whole evil yes, and now now she'll now it'll be mine. You don't remember that? <laughs> Phoenix A stupid, apparently. Holy chat. Wow, he forgot something that happened like barely 20 minutes ago. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Gray? Why would she have to? But it's called it's called a death of convenience. It didn't have to specifically be Gray. It's just two people that had aligned motives. Frame Maya. Get someone murdered. Done. Also, I don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with Eni. Really? Okay. Well, it's okay. Th this case is in the bag, even if Phoenix doesn't think it is for some reason. Mia doesn't have a clue either, huh? Hmm. There's only one possibility. Huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Um... Because... Mother. She is the one who holds the key to this. Mother? Whose? Mine? Don't be silly. Mine, of course. Misty Fay. Me and Maya's mother. Why would she bring it up now? What do you mean, why would she bring it up now? Phoenix, please. Phoenix, she's literally telling you what the motive is. Please... O open up your ears, take a good listen, <laughs> then put on your thinking cap. <laughs> You'll figure it out. Let it percolate a little bit. Now then, looks like we gathered everything we could. <clears throat> All we have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. Right, Chief. We won't lose. See, this is why Phoenix needs all the hand-holding he can get. Yeah. So it's a little extreme in this case little bit to be continued <clears throat> so chat i'm gonna very briefly refill my drink because i ran out of water and phoenix right has a lot of dialogue but it feels like we're at the end of the case i don't think there's gonna be another trial after this so give me one minute i'm gonna go get a drink and then we'll continue Okay, chat, I am back. Let's proceed. June 22nd, 9.51 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number three. Um, Nick? 
Yeah. Did you know Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? Yup, and it's ridiculous every time it comes up. Um, yeah, why? I'm just thinking about how strong she is. Well, I imagine she built a lot of upper arm strength by repeatedly whipping things. <laughs> right, Chad? I think we start there. I mean, she's been to Germany all this time by herself, and she's so grown up. Yeah, I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me and, well... Yeah, it is true. You are embarrassing, Maya. I'm the daughter of the master. But I'm still just a little girl. Uh-oh, Chad. Is she having a character arc? On top of that, I'm the suspect of a, in a murder trial. Um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya. For all you've gone through. Uh, I don't know about that, right, Chad? I do not know about that. Take it, I guess. Good morning! Oh, don't surprise me with the forehead. <laughs> You're gonna give me a jump scare as I'm pouring stuff. The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother's coming today to show her support. <laughs> Oops. Uh-oh, chat, right? Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly. Yeah, I don't think it's really support as much as gonna testify, right, chat? I just, I just don't think that's true. It will be in trouble, I agree. Also appropriates the Jolanda quote when we're talked about the foreheads. Hey, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, I think you could do me a big favor. Did you channel Mia today, too? Oh, come on. Come on, Phoenix. <laughs> go go more than one trial without needing her. Please, I'm begging you. Please, do better. Huh? I was sort of hoping to send the audience today and watch. I was too. I was too, game. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Wow. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Chad, I'm like, I'm just inwardly, I'm actually cringing. I'm like, this is so sad. We're so sad. Nick, let her go. She is dead. Let her move on. Let her go to this, whatever the, whatever she does in the spirit world. They didn't clarify this game. Like, please. Find a new partner. Find someone other than Maya. Go, go hire the police detective lady. She was technically the most qualified person outside of Mia that joined us in the courtroom so far. I beg of you, just something else. Mr. Nick, that's enough. I know, Pearl. I, I'm mad at him too. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. Pearly, not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Ugh, gross. Um, all right, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. No, don't acquiesce to him. No, don't submit. <laughs> Refuse. See you later, then. Leave you two to your alone time. Phew, thank goodness. Nick? This way. Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. Okay. Okay, I'll give him that. Okay, he turned it around. He turned it around a little bit. You know what? I'll, I'll give him a partial respect point back. I'm still annoyed that Mia's here. I'm still annoyed, but I, I kind of like that. That okay. It, he as long as he said it, I couldn't just guess it or assume he had to say it because I don't want to put characterization where it wasn't there. Okay, I'll take some of it back, only some of it. I'm still annoyed how often he goes to Mia though. Like he's already been to her like twice. This will be technically three times. What do you mean? What's going on? June 22nd, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Bang. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fay. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? 
Sounds like you made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool, wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. Oh man, Chad, could you imagine if there was a game, if you played any kind of game, where every time she said the word fool, you'd have to do something? You might be dead by the end of a sentence. <laughs> the famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since the becoming of prosecutor five years ago. Or every time she whips. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. Hmm. Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. Oh, spirit pun. Uh, sure what they say. Women really are scary when they fight and he gulps. <laughs> Such a loser, Phoenix, I swear. Get some backbone, Phoenix. Bang, exactly. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defense couldn't, or excuse me, that the defendant couldn't, could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes, and this key is the proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. All right, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? Bang. What? Miss Von Karma? Then, how do you explain this picture? Are you saying, then, that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Th then what is the meaning of this? All I'm saying is that Maya Fey, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fay, to the stand. Just as I suspected, Aunt Morgan. Or Mia. She seems really torn by this. Here we go, chat. Witness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I'm a spirit medium, in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean in a manner of speaking? Ah, uh, I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. A spirit medium, but a wig large. Oh, that's a good one, chat. You should pat yourself on the back. That was a good one. Love it. Keep it coming, chat. Pun it up in the chat. S spirit severing technique. A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world, that is. Yes, that is. Oh. You be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. What in the world could have... Miss Sigmaya, she escaped from the room. Hmm. What? Whip. And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fey, while in possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Bang, bang, bang. Order, order, order! Miss Faye, please testify to this court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. Witness testimony, Maya's escape. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, 
and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck, and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Why have you hidden this until now? I... I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. Hmm... That's right. She's simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Bang, chat. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Hmm. Eyes escape. For we heard the gunshots, the suit broke the door and entered the chamber. I don't think I have a question on this, so I'm going to skip this one. We're going to send that Mr. Randy and the others contact the police. Let's press. Hold it. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? There was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes, that is a very good point. At the time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. When you hear the end of that sentence, let's question further. There's another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? Ooh, she dot dot dots us. You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. Hmm. Dot 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 exclamation mark. The lives of both the good and s the good sir and the camera woman may be in danger. Is what I thought to myself. Bang. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. It's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. Well, I didn't get a penalty, so I, I think we have to do this. Pistol was hanging from her hand. Well, we need to press on who this is, but I doubt we'll get information from her. Hold it. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head, and this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave to you was a lie. Uh-oh. But, but why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however. Objection! The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya? Let's question further. So you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade mystic Maya had did something very unexpected. Jack comparing her hair to a giant dark cloud. That's true. Is something unexpected? What pray tell did she... Oh! This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Y yes very well. Ugh. Why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Then quite suddenly, she thrust me away from herself and escaped from the room. Hmm. Guess I gotta press it? I mean, so far... I feel like we're... I think we might have to lose this one. It feels that way. We're not getting any kind of leverage on any statement so far. Hold it. Was it really that easy for her to escape you? I'm ashamed to admit. Such a thing. However, yes. But you're physically larger and stronger than the defendant. I mean, your hair is like a whole nother person, to be fair. 
Long Carmen's objection is so much weaker compared to her character. She sound like more demonic like her father. I think so. I would have liked to have heard, heard a different version of her objection at some point. There's no way she could have escaped you so easily. Objection! objection? Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically Maya Fey. Ah. Hmm. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Yeah, we know you're senile, Judge. Basically. Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she called. But she had run away. Wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However, uh, I don't know if we could really press about her being hit. Let's try to press her about where she went after that. Hold it. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great, well, now what? Let's question further. So, while you're unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went? I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true, then how can you know for sure the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. There we go. Now we can find some holes. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve. That's the, what. <laughs> I like that we're like, what do you mean you have another witness? I mean, it's like, it means she has another witness. I mean, to be fair, we can never tell if Phoenix is joking or serious. The the depths of his stupidity knows no no bounds, chat. Looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on her next witness. Sure. That's enough. From what I can tell, there's nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. From what she has said, and established that Maya Fey did leave the chamber. Hmm. Hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes, that is exactly what- Uh! Be quiet, you! Now then, what the escapee had done was, she had gone to speak with a certain person. She... she went to speak with someone? Who, who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Miney, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Miney? I think you can see where this is headed. Favorite characters here, chat. Witness, name, and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is, like, Eeny Miney. I'm, like, researching, like, parapsychology stuff at the, um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's like, I guess most people call it occult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. Mon Karma replying with, Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. Now then, Miss Miney, after the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Fey. Is this correct? Um, well, hmm, um, like, I guess. If that's the case, let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? She says, stretching the whip. Uh, yes, sir. 
For the love of all things good, Your Honor. Have some spine. For my sake. Here we go, chat. Witness testimony after the murder. Like, when the channeling started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I, like, hadn't seen her in, like, so long. I was so happy in, like, a sad way. My sister, she, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. Now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered was your sister. Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Fey? Really now, your honor. Maya Fey was still in the middle of channeling at that time. Are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Miney. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, oh well, this is... Witness? Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Miney, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Eenie? She took her revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Yeah. There, are you satisfied, your honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this is the truth. The end. What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This, this testimony just now, was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. But she, did she read our mind? <laughs> Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Even the most well-spun lies could be undone. We could do it, Phoenix. Let's find out that one loose thread and unwind the tapestry of lies. It would have been really funny if Maya did actually do it. I'm not going to lie, chat. That would have been the heartbreaker moment. Your Honor. There's room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if you'll make this one more entertaining than the last. Okay. I mean, we eventually have to cast doubt on this, but I think I need more evidence first. It might come up later. A little later, someone came in the room. It was like my sister. I was happy in a sad way. Hmm. So, okay. So if we don't make progress with what I'm about to press, I'm going to go back to where she was sleeping. Allegedly. Allegedly sleeping. Alright, let's press the statement. So I think the thought process here is that we need to get her to tie together the burned outfit 
and the look and feel of the outfit that she is uh, going to describe and find a discrepancy. That's what I'm hoping to get out of this press. Hold it! You were happy in a sad way? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, but like, maybe if I was, like, someone who didn't know about, like, the occult, but I'd, like, know all about the crane channeling technique. The point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like, what she said. Hmm, should I drop this line of questioning? Nope. So, you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? Here we go. That sounds like we're gonna set up for a... flaw in the system, as it were. No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. Oops. But... Ow! Don't keep badgering her. You know the phrase, objection. Could you try using that once in a while? Hmm, Mr. Wright, this question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister, is it really that important? Uh, very important. It is very important, although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got a bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. Jeez, Phoenix. Bang. All right, Mr. Wright. Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, I'm like totally cool with that. I wasn't like scared at all. And like her costume looked totally normal. Oops. Oops. She did what I wanted her to do. So if you remember, I think it was it this one? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think if you saw somebody covered in blood and with a gun, I think you'd be a little concerned. Let's present this. Objection! Objection! That was a very well-spun lie, Miss Eni. W what are you babbling about, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It's well-constructed, but that's all it is. Phoenix, are you trying to pass off Mia's work as your own? That is so scummy. <laughs> she said that to you. That is so scummy. Stealing my lines now, are we, Mr. Phoenix? I agree, Mia. Get mad at him. You earned that credit. He didn't earn it. You did. You're better than him. Miss Miney, I remind you of what you said. You said there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, and... But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister you met. I think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. Uh, the blood spray. Miss Miney. Why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you're really testifying and not lying. You would have noted it right off the bat. Um. Bang chat. Order, order. Miss Miney, what is the meaning of this? Miss Miney? I'm thinking, don't interrupt me. Um, that, uh. And what are you stammering about, your honor? Uh, um, well, I, uh, I. That witness. Her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. First of all, calm yourself, witness. Like, I'm sorry. I, like, didn't mean to snap. Now, hurry up with the testimony. If you please. This courtroom is a mess, yeah. Ugh, the judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's gonna be. Witness testimony after the murder part two. Like, the side room was, like, kind of dark, you know? So, like, the costume is, like, purple, right? But totally blended, like, right in. 
And I like persuaded my sister it wasn't like right to do something like that. What does that even mean? And then like I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Ooh. Oh, I don't care about the dark room or whatever. I don't think we have proof any lights were on. But those last two were very interesting. You have you've given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? We dot dot dot. All right, I guess not. Very well. You may question the witness. Well, I mean, I think Chad can kind of see what the problem is. So her entire testimony has been, I've been asleep. I didn't know the channeling happened. I didn't know a murder happened. So how did she persuade her sister about something she didn't know about? So this is a very obvious flaw in her statement. Hold it. And what was your sister, Miss Mimi Miney, like at the time? Well, like she was like totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. But I think like she knew. She she like she said she did something really bad. And like she said she wanted to go with me to like apologize to Miss Morgan. Mm-hmm. Didn't Mimi Spirit really say all that to you? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Here we go. And then I like took my sister to the channeling saver. Yeah, I don't think so. Hold it. Was your sister calm by that time? So sadly, we didn't get more information from that other press, but we already know Pearl was in the winding way. So if she doesn't acknowledge Pearl, we know that she's lying. So it'll be pretty easy to uh, checkmate her on that one later. Like, I guess so. I guess maybe like taking a revenge on Dr. Gray, like made her feel a lot better. I'd like to feel a lot better too. Mr. Phoenix Wright. The sooner, the better. She says with her whip at the ready. And like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know. I ask you one more thing, Miss Miney. Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Huh? Like, when do you mean? Oh, uh, when? Um, when you... Well, not arrived at the... We're gonna say going to the crime scene. So again, I'm trying to I'm trying to entrap her with pearls specifically. Since the urn is still in our evidence. I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Now what? Well, obviously we press harder. Think harder. No, you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber is all that important? Yes, it was important. That's because it is very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. Oh, Phoenix, come on. We had this whole back and forth about the ball. How did you forget about the ball, Phoenix? Very well. Miss Miney, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. I, like, didn't see anyone on the way to, like, the channeling chamber. Well, I didn't get quite what I wanted to get there, so I guess we gotta work our way to the sacred urn. So let's go ahead and present the profile image of the person she should have seen. Real fake. Objection! Objection! You say you didn't see anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. However, that is impossible. Like, what do you mean? I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Miss Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Looks like Phoenix dropped the ball on that one. Oh, I love that. Hmm, it's a good one, Dango. Interesting, you have a semi-intelligent look on your face. So, what about this child? Just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. The garden. Yup. Which means anyone walking through the area would have had to have seen her. So, Miss Miney, 
What do you have to say to that? Whoa. Whoa, that face in the cap. I forgot about that. She went, no. Objection. Objection. As the court can see, she's a bit of an airhead. Also, she was leading her sister at that time. Do you honestly think she would have noticed the simple child playing? Preposterous. Objection. Objection. Not preposterous, and I can prove it. Well, what sort of foolish... There's no way someone walking along in the winding way could not have noticed Pearl. Okay, now we can present the urn. Okay, we, get, we gotta go one step at a time. Let's present it. Take that. This urn is my proof. An old cracked clay pot. What is that going to prove? Do you know why it's cracked? It's because Pearl broke it. That's why. She broke the urn? Oh! Why? Why do I feel like you're about to ruin my beautiful day? This urn was broken around the time the channeling started. Ah! Uh. And Pearl was the only one who... Oh, and Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. What? Bang, 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 chat. Miss Miney. Dot, 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 exclamation mark. Pearl was there in the winding way at the time. She was hard at work putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. Couldn't they just call Pearl to the stand as like a counter offer? Wait, where where is the prosecution going on when to interrogate the witness? Wait a minute. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. Good. Uh, I think I've sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Miney. You are a masterful liar. Uh, Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. The one who needs to watch what she's saying is the witness. So, Miss Miney, tell us the truth. About what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. Objection! Objection! The witness just testified about that. Uh, that's right. I was, like, sleeping in the side room. And I really believe her. Was she really sleeping in the side room? Chad, let's all roll our eyes. How many times did we have to see the suspicious bedding? I'm gonna believe in you, chat, that you figured out she just fluffed the pillows. I'm just gonna say. It just, like... They, they went out of their way to make sure you noticed that in the investigation. Between Lana literally climbing inside the, the cloth box, just so you understood that, and then the pillows, where we kept mistaking somebody was there. I think we could, I think we could safely move on and not have the chat guess this part. They really hammered it home in the investigation. We're going to say there's no way. She could have been anywhere exactly. Yo, oh look, there's a hole in it eight inches off the ground, just like where the gunshot was in the other room. Whoa! <laughs> like, just <laughs> throw your hands in the air, chat. Like, <laughs> I'll, I'll give chat a break on that one. Your lies end here. Oh, wh what are you? The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible because there's clearly a contradiction here. A contradiction? Where is this contradiction? Are you saying help me, Mia? Oh my gosh. That's so lame. That's so lame. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, can't, I can't chat. I can't. That's <laughs> so sad. Why why is that an option? <laughs> oh man. I I mean it's technically it's in the evidence, but I think if I say that he'll get confused. I'll say it's in her testimony. I'm very tempted to go straight to the it's in the evidence, even though I know in like one statement for now, I'm going to present evidence to prove it, but. Oh man, we'll say it's in her testimony. I mean, technically, if I present the map and show why it's impossible or present the cloth box, both of those should have been able to resolve it. So technically, the second statement is true. But I know Phoenix is too dumb to go there yet, so I need to guide him more. So we're going to go further with the guidance. Earlier in your testimony, Miss Miney, you made the following statement. And like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know. It's true that at the time, 
Both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. So, like, what does that, like, have to do with anything? It's very simple. Miss Miney, how did you know that fact? H how? I can see that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Which means, Miss Miney, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. But you didn't go there by way of the winding way. Ah! Dang. But, but look at the manor guide map. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right, Your Honor, which is why. Which is why I asked this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, er... Uh, Miss Miney, please answer the question. Objection! She waves her finger at us, dot dot dot. Don't ask a question off a baseless assumption, if you please. Dot 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 exclamation mark from us. Well, suppose since you put it out on the table, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You might as well as answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eeny Miani. Excuse me, Eeny Miani. So now is the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Wright, let us hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? She could be in any channeling chamber on the map. You could just have to pick one and take that. Miss Miney was here, of course. Well, but, but that's the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Miney was at the scene of the crime. Bang, bang, bang. Order, order, order. That's why that's just, uh. Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the vic when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Eeny Miney was hiding at the scene of the crime. I I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? See, chat, this is now incredibly funny. Remember how they got, like, how they, like, sassed me that nobody could be behind here? Do you remember that in the previous session? Well, anyway, chat, I'm going to select the same spot I did last time when I got confused. <laughs> Just remember that, chat. I got absolutely sassed by the game that no one could possibly be there, and that, like, they were literally there where I pointed in the last session, like, almost verbatim. Jeez, they're so stupid, chat, I swear. Here, of course. B behind the folding screen? Ah, don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen. See, you stupid jerk. Ooh, that cap is looking like pizza dough. But being so quick to pin it on me, slime ball. No, no, Miss Miney. One so young as you shouldn't be saying, shut it, Gramps, as if you know exactly how old I am. Uh, I'm sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. That's just to help it along. Oh, there we go. She's spinning the cap, chat. What a face. I like how it immediately went to the thing before I could barely read it. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen, but the help of this. The clothing box, chat. Take that! Miss Miney, how you were able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Ah! That tiny little box. No person could fit in that. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. Lotta disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. Um. Objection. But that clothing box was in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. Th that's right. I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box was there in the side room, like, the whole time. Oh, I added a like by accident. She, she didn't say the word like that time, surprisingly. Hmm. Mr. Wright. 
Do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? Hmm. Uh... I have to think about this. Is this actually a trap one or not? Do we have evidence it was physically there at the same time? Hmm. Hmm. Unless I'm misunderstanding what the game told me. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I can. No, 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 no. I can. I can with evidence. I didn't think about that for a second. And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime. Which is weird, because is this another one? Okay, so is this another one where I can present either piece of evidence? So we were talking about the bullet hole earlier. And it, again, it just... Is it me or is it just really weird when you present the clothing box or like a piece of evidence and you present it twice? I don't think the first game did that very often, and this case has now done this twice, where I presented the same evidence twice in a row. I find that very weird. It throws me off. Anyway. Yes, I can prove it was there because of the bullet hole. Take that. Take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid, as if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. This, this, what on earth? Mm. I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. Wasn't there one case? Yeah, but it was like... I don't know. Whatever the case is... I mean, it wasn't great in... I think I know which case you're talking about. It wasn't great in that case either, but it's like really awkward where they're like, here's the proof of where it is. <laughs> and then like you keep presenting it. It's like, come on. Why do I have to keep presenting the same piece of evidence? I got thrown off briefly because I was thinking it couldn't possibly be that. And then I'm like, no, it has to be that. I guess I could have presented the screen, maybe, first. Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, let's let's go with Bo and Karma's line one more time. I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. Th there is a hole about eight inches off the ground. Hmm. Hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? The folding screen. It had a hole at the same height. That's right. Hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. The time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen. Which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and then into the box. Ugh. Miss Miney. You were hiding behind the folding screen, waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Ah! Bang, 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 chat. Order, order. So what you're saying, objection. Then, then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eeny Miney? That's exactly what I'm saying. Miss Eeny Miney, you were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Faye. Did you masquerade as Maya Faye? She had it planned from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. N no! S stop! I can't stand to listen any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene. Pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime. It's not possible for one person to do that all by herself. And we'll say correct, it's not possible. It really is impossible. For one person to do all the preparations, that is. Ow! Need I remind you, the foolish receive no mercy. Wait! Miss Von Karma said it was not possible for one person, correct? What? Well, you can't be serious. Annie's huffing as she destroys that cap. 
No mercy. No mercy indeed. Miss Miney. You and an accomplice. No oh, both no mercies. Well, time to present Morgan. Take that! Go. This person. If it wasn't someone from Karain Village, you couldn't have gotten that costume. If I wasn't if it wasn't someone from the Fae household, you wouldn't have had that box to use. Morgan Fay. Isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Miney? Uh, uh. You shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? Wait for her to rip the cap. She's pretty close to it. Ah! Oh, she's having a freak out moment, chat. I think this is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Faye with a strong sleeping agent. Then she stabbed Dr. Gray with the knife. Next, she had my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Bang. Dr. Gray was actually not yet dead. The last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that is why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and... Dang, Chad. After that, you and the other lady thought to break into the room. Yes, gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, forced our way into the channeling chamber. Click. Miss Miney, she immediately covered her own costume with blood. Click. I pretended to be Maya Fey. But, but, that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Fey chased us out. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry before there are more victims here. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. <laughs> Who is that, laughing at a time like this? Ah! Oh, you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry, are you still by chance evolving? What is it this time? M Miss Fun Karma, surely. Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of Unkarma blood would lose to something this petty? What in the world? Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is... If this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act. What reason would she have to do such foolish things? Huh? Well, that's, uh... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Eeny Meeny... Miney, excuse me. Why would Miss Eeny Miney want to kill Dr. Gray? Where is her motive? Well, I mean, we don't... We already know. Can we just present the newspaper clipping? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say, too. Yeah, motive. I don't have a motive. A, a motive? That's... I can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. There's a reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead. The reason you wanted Dr. Gray dead is this. Let's present the newspaper clipping. 
Take that. Huh. Just as I thought, you bored me with your silly answers, Phoenix Wright. Just great. Now even she's calling me by my full name. Think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes. It's through that accident you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? You want to say I want to take revenge based on nothing? W what do you mean by that? Senile stupid gramps. I'm like, going to explain, so like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I like, wanted revenge, then like, I would have waited this long. Um, and sides, like, the guy that thought of the spirit thing was like, Dr. Gray. It's like a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She... She's back to her airhead persona. However, you see- Ah! Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You failed to support your own theory. The end. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What Miss Miney has stated is very true. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I know, chat. The, he's senile. He forgot all about that whole thing where she's like, this is the person's been drugged. Why can't we just point to her earlier testimony of just full of lies? So ridiculous, chat. How these people aren't just immediately like thrown out of the courtroom is beyond me. Then again, it is being headed up by the senile judge. I guess that checks out then, never mind. What Miss Miney has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated and she has no motive in the first place. What? I. <laughs> Chad, my mind is like blown right now. What do you mean there's no motive? What? <laughs> no? Did, did, did they not read the whole. Falling asleep at the wheel. No? Okay. Furthermore, there's no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. Well, you didn't give me a reason... You didn't give me a chance to prove motive with Miss Morgan Fay. That's not really fair, Judge. You don't even have any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your point. Tis tisk. So many faults. Mr. Phoenix Wright, should really learn your place. Ah! What happened? Thought I had her for sure. <laughs> See, like, it's just as I, like, told you. Hope you liked your slice of humble pie. Very well. I now conclude the cross-examination of Miss Eeny Miney. Uh oh, somebody holded it in it. Your Honor, please allow the defense one more minute. Oh, all right. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, that sounds like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There's a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. There's also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. You want to say that you could prove Miss Miney had a motive, then why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you provide the reason? Can I? Can I really do this? Yes. I'm not totally confident here. No, what I, but no, excuse me, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. Only you can prevent forest fires, chat. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. Haha, <laughs> too bad, you're too late. 
My cross-examination has already ended, after all. Ah! Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? what? You're supposed to be on my side. Ah! Avon Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, it will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Dot 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 from Phoenix. And I don't care if you are my witness. So help me, I will throw you out of my way. N no way! Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. We'll continue the cross examination after we reconvene. Hey, wait a sec here! To be continued. You know what, Chad? I think we're pretty close to the end of the trial. We're, we're just gonna beat it. Unless there's another investigation, but I really doubt there is. I think we just have to talk to her and then Morgan Fay. It feels like we're really close to the end. June 22nd, 1204 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Is it really true? About my aunt? I'm afraid so, Maya. There's no way Eni could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. Under the circumstances, there's no one else other than your aunt, Morgan. That, that's terrible. Why? Why would my aunt... Everything's going just as I predicted, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Ah, Miss Von Karma. Oh, wrong person speaking. Ah, Miss Von Karma. Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take your revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Say, your own situation. Uh, looking down on me, even though we're the same age. Are you done yet? Cause me enough pain and suffering. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you. Let the whole world know of your defeat. And even if you do that, won't bring your father back. Hmm. Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion. And then we'll know who the real winner is. June 22nd, 12.10pm. District Court, courtroom number 2. Bang. Court will now reconvene, Mr. Wright. Apparently the whole world, chat. She's very obsessed. Yes, Your Honor. Can you prove Miss Eeny Miney had a motive? Yes, I believe I can. Eeny Miney and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection. And that is the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be here. Miss Miney, please testify to this court about your car accident last year. Huh? Thought, like, you wanted to, like, ask about my, like, motive. You, like, don't see the point in, like, bringing up the past. Miss Miney, if you please. Okay, okay, like, I totally don't think it'll do any good, but... Last year's accident, witness testimony. Let's see if chat can figure out the real motive behind the case. Might not be what the chat might have originally thought, but we'll see. That was, like, last year in May. Like, something really bad had happened at, like, my sister's clinic around then. And, like, the night of the accident, my sis was totally tired while she was driving. It was, like, totally pooped too, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. I, like, woke up because of a jolt, and it, like, was, like, a sea of flames around me. I, like, opened the door and, like, got away. <laughs> I think the whole world's gonna add to their seat on this case of all things true. <laughs> Very true. Hmm. I think I've heard of this incident. It was all the talk on the tabloid shows, day after day, last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister. Ah. Oh. Those were merely rumors. Totally baseless gossip. Hmm. Yes. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Right now, it's impossible to prove Dr. Gray did in fact drug Miney's sister. 
Yeah, which means I'll have to work at this from another angle. I have to say, I don't think I figured out this twist right away. And I'll leave it at that. It it took me about until this point to go, oh. So it, it did take me a while. If you want to feel better about it, Chad. Uh, where's the line I'm looking for? I'm looking for something very specific. When she was driving. Yeah, I think I need to press on this one. Hold it. She was totally tired. You mean exhausted? Like, she had to talk to the police and, like, was being investigated, like, every day. It was, like, a totally terrible situation. It's no wonder, then, that the car accident happened, huh? Let's press harder. So then, why didn't you ask to switch places? Huh? Like, what are you talking about? I meant switch drivers. Your sister was so tired, and you should have switched with her. True, true. Ah, uh, but like, I don't like have a driver's license. Well, I mean, that's just, that's just obviously wrong. <laughs> right, Chad? That's just obviously wrong. This is news to me. I was unaware you didn't have your license, Miss Miney. Hmm. Miss Money, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, anyway. Well. Alright. So let's present, obviously, the license. So that was easy. Not where I thought that was going, but that's fine. Let's present. Objection. Miss Miney, that was a lame lie just now. Like, what do you mean? I know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took for the express purpose of getting a driver's license. Um... What is the meaning of this, Miss Miney? Uh, um, uh, that's... that's right. Yeah, I had, like, a license, but... But I didn't get until after the accident. No, you had it. You had it at the time of the accident. Director Hottie, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so. What are you like ta talking about that perverted fake clinic director? Oh, excuse me, let's try this again. What, are you talking about the perverted fake clinic director? There we go, small correction there. I like how we also don't call him to the stand either. I feel like this is objection hearsay. Where is objection hearsay from the prosecution, by the way, chat? Like, we're just- we're just asserting someone else's claim this, but we're not offering them for the trial? That is absolutely hearsay. Yes, that perverted fake clinic director. And how did you- Ah! Oh! No one cares. Witness, when did you receive your driver's license? Like, last November. What? N -n -n november The accident happened last May. That's a half year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What in the? Th that's what happened, Mr. Wright. At the time of the accident, Miss Miney did not have a driver's license. Uh. Ow. Cry, my whip will accommodate. Anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could not have switched drivers. I'm like, glad you get it, but like, even if I had my license, I like, don't think my sis would have, like, let me drive. Hmm. Ow. Oh, don't just stand there, hmm, to yourself. Not you too, Mia. With the whip and the pain. Ow. Miss Miney, who do you think you... Who do you think you would not have been allowed to drive anyway? Huh? Um, that's because... I think this situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Miney, if you please. Uh, like... How annoying. Oops, like, sorry. Didn't mean to be mean. I wouldn't be allowed witness testimony. Around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. This was, like, this totally big fan of cars and, like, really valued them. She, like, just got in this really shiny bright red sports car. She, like, would say things like, no way am I letting a noob drive my car. It's, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. Hmm, I see. A bright red 
Car for sports. Now then, the defense may question the witness. Hmm. Not terribly knowledgeable about cars, but okay, chat. This is one of the things that, like, drove me wild. <laughs> not gonna lie. I remember this because I remember getting frustrated at how many pieces of evidence this is gonna take. Deep sigh. <laughs> so sadly, chat, I'm not guessing here. I remember this. I remember being annoyed. I <laughs> remember being really annoyed. Here we go. I wouldn't be allowed. We're almost done. Alright, chat. Well, I happen to know because <laughs> I had to do this a couple times. So stupid. Anyway. Okay, so we need to t we need her to talk about the sports car. Maybe chat knows where I'm going with this, or people that have seen the game before know what I'm talking about. But moments like this, hold it, or something else. It was a new car. Yeah, she had like just gotten it. It was like from the UK. Hmm. The UK. Were those her boyfriend's initials? Oh my gosh, chat. This di this dialogue was like I was like when I read the dialogue. Just deep breath. I'll get through the dialogue. The frustration of the scene is palpable. It was like really special model. She waited for like a whole year for it to arrive. I guess her love of cars would be uh, would be the obvious next topic. I like how that wasn't good enough and we have to press harder, but whatever. Sure, why not? Really don't know anything about cars. Yeah, Phoenix, you're telling me. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I had a feeling this was bound to come up. Your Honor. Yes? Please have the witness append what she just said to her testimony. You mean the part about it being a special import car? Yes. Uh, well, if you like cars that much, then... That's not my point. To be honest, I don't know what the point is either. I, I remember just being like, come on, come on, come on. Why do I have to prove this? What's wrong with these people? Miss Marnie, would you please fix your testimony? Sure, whatever. All right, so I'm sure chat is seeing where this is going. Phoenix doesn't, though. Phoenix absolutely doesn't. So anyway, we gotta present the evidence. I don't know how this wasn't apparent. Let's go remember, chat. We're, we're, somebody was pulled out of the passenger side and escaped. But what if it's not an American car? What side of the wheel of the car will it be on? Present objection. Miss Miney, do you remember this article? Huh? It's an article about the accident. You had said this in it. But I opened the right door and, like, got out. That's correct, isn't it? Like, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is the passenger seat, the left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver's on the left. That would be if it were an American car. But it would be the opposite in a British car. Opposite? The two of them were riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be the left side. I, lo I love how he has to go through this. Like, it just, it's amazing. Uh, what do you mean by this? I just, I love how much we have to explain this in the court. This drove me wild when I first played the game. Miss Miney, you said you, you would escape using the right side of the car. But if you were sitting there, then that means you were in the driver's seat. Ah! Bang, 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 chat. Order, order in the court. Order, order, order. Ow! Mr. Phoenix Wright is blabbering nonsense again. Eni said the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Miney. That is why Eni said yes. Oh, that is what Eni said, yes. But that is where her story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix, it looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there could be only one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Eni or Mimi, who is really driving the court? Or who's <laughs> not driving the court? Who is really driving that night? <laughs> I love we gotta... We... 
I love how like the UK admission wasn't good enough. We had to get it amended to the statement. Then we presented evidence and then we had to tell them like five times. It drives me wild, chat, I swear. Anyway. The answer is the one person who had her driver's license. Mimi Miney. It was Mo, you're right. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. But you just said the witness, Miss Inimani, was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. The, the next question, they all say in unison. Who is the person standing at the witness stand right now? Ugh. What sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This witness's name... This witness's name is... I'll tell you what her name really is. This witness's real name is... Hmm. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm tempted to present some things. Who do you think it is, Chad? It could be anybody. Just shake your head, Chad. So anyway, it's Magatama. You're right. It's it's actually Attorney Badge. I was baiting you. It was actually Attorney Badge. I'm sorry, chat. Should have known her name was Attorney Badge. But anyway, we're gonna present. <laughs> yeah. So where it's just like yeah. Okay. So let's go over here. Plot twist: so the one that's allegedly dead is the one that does it. Ooh, look at that! If we get it wrong, we lose half our health. That's interesting. Take that, chat. Mimi Miney, that is your real name. Objection. Objection! Of all the foolish dribble. But then, how do you explain her appearance? This witness had severe facial burns when she was admitted into the hospital. So for the purpose of facial reconstruction, the surgeons used a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery. This is the picture she gave to her doctors at the time. That's right. It's a picture of her younger sister. No! But, but, Mimi Miney, she died in the car accident. Man, judges like seven evidence things ago. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. Then the body they found at the crash site. Yeah, I, I only, when I first played the game, I only figured out that that was what it was trying to get me to do. Not in this testimony, but the previous one. So don't feel bad, Chad. It took me a while. I was like, oh. To be fair, they also hide the detail about the car. If they had said that it was a British car up front, I would have known instantly. I'm just letting you know, if they told me that, it would have been like on it. <laughs> but I double checked. It did not mention it in any of the other things. So they, they did try to purposely mislead you, which is a bit mean of the game. That was the body of the real Eeny Miney. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Miney? Dot 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 chat. That car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Eeny Miney. Her sister Mimi then stole her face and was reborn as Eni. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Miney from existence. Your Honor, I'm sure you can now see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. Well, what do you. Uh, what is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash. Mimi Miney. However, that would not have been possible. Because Mimi Miney was still in fact alive. And that fact would have been discovered had the channeling been conducted. So this witness had to stop that from happening. At all costs. And, and, and that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling. Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. Whoa, whoa. 
Oh, well, Miss Eeny. I mean, Miss Vodenkar. Ah! Uh, why do you say my name just now? Unknown, dot, dot, dot. Looks like I've been unmasked. Ooh, witness? That's right, I admit it. My real name is Mimi Miney. That quack doctor got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi, too. So close. But, but why? Why would you go so far as to throw away yourself? To become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Money wanted her old self to disappear because of this. Right, I'm gonna present the newspaper clipping now. Take that! Th that's... That's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Mimi Miney. That's right. The person standing before us today. There's no, way, no possible way Mimi Miney is a real name. That's true. And a few weeks after this mishap, Mimi Miney had a car accident, which she lost her younger sister. The timing couldn't have been worse. 14 patients dying in that incident, and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. Oh, are we really not going to get Morgan Fay on this stand? That's kind of disappointing. I didn't remember that, to be honest. But it feels like it's over. I don't see how the case would go further from here. She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister, and even her own face. That was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. Only had thought of that channeling Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo? I mean, Eenie has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling, the occult, I hate it. I hate it all. I believe there are still a few unsolved riddles here, such as why did Miss Miney choose to go with choose to go with such a complicated plan? And why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help her execute it? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear. The innocence of the defendant, Maya Fay. This 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 is preposterous. I I'm perfect. Me, Francisca von Karma. I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss von Karma. How about you? It's going to be a broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Oh, oh, oh. Ow, 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 ow. And one more for good measure. And she's not in prison because why? Phoenix, hang in there, Phoenix. Phoenix, judge, literally just arrest her. Don't even, don't even wait the whole trial. Be like, I, I legit just witnessed an assault and battery in my courtroom. Go to jail. <laughs> Skip trial. Witness over. This court is a fraud, a sham. I mean, to be fair, she has the point. The judge is an idiot. Bang. Now then. Are we really not going to address that we just got whipped to death, essentially, in the courtroom? It looks like it will be some time before Mr. Wright regains consciousness. <laughs> we, we got beaten unconscious? <laughs> How is the court still continuing? You're only proving her words, Judge. See, even Chad agrees. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Not guilty. That is all. The court is adjourned. Are they going to take her whip away? Or uh, Anyway, June 22nd, 3.13 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby number three. Congratulations, Maya. Oh, that just looks so weird. I'm just... It's never going to not be weird to me, Chad. It's just always going to be weird. Sis? <laughs> what an image. It's good to see you, Maya. 
How are you doing? Sis, sis! I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, oh, you know, sis. In my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent. I was inside that clothing box, right? That box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. It's just getting weirder. That's right. I'm gonna say Maya and Mia, please. Cut it out. Hmm. There's still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Miney had planned to open the door to the chamber herself. And then, you and Lada would have witnessed quite a scene. A possessed Maya Faye, who had just committed a murder. She had a plan to the smallest detail. Uh, Nick? Congrats, Maya. Thanks! Looks like you bailed me out of another jam. Well, you know. But, I really don't want something like this to ever happen again. Well, I guess we'll we'll see what happens by the third game, if that stands to be true or not. Dot 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 question mark from us. I'm fine because I have you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, now my aunt. Dot 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 from Phoenix. Hey, Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Why would she help Mimi Miney with a plan like that? I just... I just don't understand it, Nick. Why, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Nick, please, I need an answer. The reason Morgan helped Mimi with her plan was... Forehead. Take that. Early? Four years from now, new master will be born into Crane Village. And that person will be you, Maya. And? But if you weren't there, the main family's bloodline would disappear. What would happen then? The Branch family? My aunt? No, Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. Next person would be... Pearls. The reason was our badge, I know. I'm tempted. Ah! Everything was done for her sake. It was also that Pearls could become the next master. Yeah, I can see that. Not that, that question mark. Did Maya say something just now? I think that she was saying I thought so. Hmm. Date and time unknown. Detention center. Solitary confinement cell 13. Ooh. My precious pearl. You are the only one suitable to be master of Kareem, dear child. Sacrificed it all. All for you. I helped that brainless nurse carry out her murder and cooperated with that whip-happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying, witless main family girl. Maya Fay. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. Episode 2, Reunion Turnabout, the end. Well, you know what, Chad? I think that was pretty much appropriate timing. No, 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 no. Don't don't go to that one yet. Let me save. No, no, no. Let me save. Yes. We're not doing that one yet. That's for next time. We'll be doing Turnabout Big Top next weekend. So let's chat a little bit. So, Jan, how do you feel about that case overall, now that you've seen it start to finish? Where does it fall on your case skill? Did you like it more than some of the other cases from Case 1? Turn it back, Big Tough, I know I called the court- Oh, it's- it's about what you think it is. Well, unless you're assuming the courtroom is the circus, but I guess in a way it becomes a circus. But yes, we- we have a, another- another infamous- another infamous case to do. So that'll be mm -mm good to get through. But fortunately, we are done with this case for now. As I said before, I'm not a big fan of definitely how much Phoenix Wright gets helped out by the spirits. Big Top is one of the cases of all time. 
Yeah, I kind of forgot a little plot detail about it that makes it so much worse. And then I, I looked over the character list again the other day. Like, I didn't, I didn't want to spoil the case for myself. And then I was like, oh, that character was in the case. Never mind. <laughs> it's like, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. I take back what I said. I, I didn't, I didn't really, I like the mystery of the case. I did not like the case, though. <laughs> And we'll amend that statement from before. My name was the most annoying character in a long time. But I was expecting to twist with the face swap. It was a bad case, even with the questionable parts. Yeah, we're we're going to be getting into a lot of questionable parts, unfortunately. So, like, for the example, in this case, the questionable thing was, like, aging up Pearl. I just... I don't like it as a plot element. I don't know how much it comes up in the third game. I really, really hope it doesn't come up often, or if at all, in the third game. To just stop, please, embodying Mia. Let Mia die, please. I beg of you, Phoenix Wright. Let her move on. But yeah, we'll be going through uh, more questionable things as it goes on, ending in possibly one of the worst cases in Phoenix Wright? Question mark? But we'll see. Maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe chat feels there are worse cases. But, uh, whew. We're going to be setting the bar a little lower, I <laughs> feeling, in the near future. Like, if you had high expectations, I would lower them now. So at least then maybe you'll enjoy it if you go in thinking it's not going to be a great case and it turns out okay. Maybe maybe you'll be okay with it. But yeah, I was not a fan of some of the stuff coming up. But uh, let me think. Overall, with the trial, I'm a little disappointed we never got Morgan Fay to have like a freakout moment. I would have loved to have seen her hair explode. I feel like that was a big missed opportunity from the case standpoint. Um, I think the investigations were mostly fine. I happen to get briefly lost, but I think that was more on me. I'm not really going to blame the game for that. Um, I did find it annoying that we can keep constantly looking at the places that are actually evidence, though, and then it doesn't become evidence until someone tells them to, it's evidence. That That is something that's going to bother me across multiple cases, but I think in this case in particular, it did come up more than once. Where it's like, we must have looked at that clothing box like three or four times, both after the murder, during the trial, basically after the trial, and then it was like, ugh. Just, ugh, chat. Like, come on, after a certain point, like, we literally had to have, like, Lada enter the clothing box for us, and stuff like that. I didn't, I didn't appreciate how much they are trying to spell it out. They did have a twist at the end, but I feel like they kind of cheated that twist in. I think they purposely left a very important detail out of multiple times that they describe the story, and it isn't until the trial that they reveal it's a card from the UK. Like, you could probably guess it prior to that point, because even I was like, is that what they're implying with this? That this is the real reason? And it was like, oh. Uh... So I guess it is what it is. Phoenix does his best. Phoenix doesn't logic. Yeah, it's painful. I love, I love like how many things like we had to press statement, present evidence, and then point out who was in the driver's seat with the UK thing. It was like, oh my gosh. That was driving me wild. I'm like, why am I pointing this out? Listen, if there's only two people in the car and you said this person was the driver, this person is the passenger, and I said you should flip them because it's a UK car, and then they're like, but who could be driving? I'm like, come on, jeez, Keith, come on. Why did I have to present a profile image after all that? <laughs> like, just, wasn't it implied? Wasn't it implied enough? Wasn't that the point of putting that into the testimony? Stuff like that was starting to get to me in the second game where I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, we we didn't we didn't get to the case that broke me though, Chad. I'm letting you know. We we will get to the case that made me prematurely quit this game, and I was like, no way. I'm getting so annoyed at the game right now. So annoyed. So yeah, we'll get to that one. That'll be uh interesting revisiting that and then voicing all said characters. Um I kinda like the face and the cap thing. I guess her freak out was somewhat decent. But yeah, we were missing out on Morgan Fay. Definitely, definitely gets a lower grade just from that alone. Didn't get to see her like hair turn into like some spirals or explode or turn into horns or something crazy. They could have done a lot with the chat. Is all I'm saying. But I think overall, chat, I don't have anything else to add to the case. We're done with it. It's not the worst case. 
in this game so yay i don't know if i'd rate it higher than most of the other episode one ones like did i enjoy it more than the tutorial quest in one i don't know i feel like the tutorial in one was pretty classic i feel like what they really needed to do and and it's something that they don't really do in a lot of these cases and it makes me sad is they really need to give you better red herrings. So what I mean by that is like this kind of case, when you take a step back and think about it at all, like there's only one person that could have been the murderer, like from the beginning of the game. Like there's literally one character who said who said that they were somewhere where they weren't, but there was no one else that was like that in the entire case. And I think that's kind of a problem. Like I understand they're trying to do the locked murder thing or locked room thing but it's like we didn't have another character to like throw shade or doubt into the whole process so like from a mystery perspective i knew it was like mimi pretty much immediately because it was like oh no the fluffed pillow trick the thing you try to pull with like every every like teenage movie where they go out late at night or whatever <laughs> like is this really happening is this actually the plot point <laughs> like this happens in so many different mediums so i'm like duh of course it would be that and that's kind of the problem with it in general it's like to me it's not it doesn't end up being a mystery so like when i play this game specifically i'm just kind of like okay i have to get the characters to realize i've already solved it so like how do i get how do i guide him do i have to like zap him with like a cattle prod to like figure things out and i know by the time i got to the uk thing i'm like seriously how much more do i need to spell it out for these people this is ridiculous please move on i'm just like and that was one of the moments in the game where i just truly felt like i was getting annoyed while playing it wasn't like hard but it was like i had to take a break the whole the whole uk thing from the judge i was like oh my gosh I'm going wild, chat. I'm going wild. <laughs> I'm just like, come on. <laughs> Jeez. And you got Phoenix. You don't wait for Mia to guide him. Oh, no. Yeah, Mia has to tell him everything. I, I think this case kind of personified it, where one of my least favorite elements in the first game was how handholdy it was with the spirit, spirit stuff. And finally, in the bonus case, you get a case... That is not just immediately solved by spirit shenanigans. And then the second game is like, you know what people really liked? Nothing but spirit shenanigans. So I felt like by this game, I felt like it tainted my opinion, especially on the later cases. So we're going to try to look at the next ones more objectively. But I know from my personal standpoint, I'm just like, oh my gosh, please let me figure the case out. Let me feel like I'm actually a detective briefly, even though I shouldn't be a detective. I'm a lawyer. And it's just like, let me go with the flow. Yeah, exactly. The fifth case was made after the trilogy. Exactly. And that's unfortunate because that was like one of the better ones, but not my favorite from the first one. I, I think it had a big problem where it got just too gimmicky for me. I think that's what really stopped it from being number one for me in the previous game. And in this one, I'm like, I don't know I'd really name a case. I mean... It's just kind of like, uh... you know, kind of at best, it's like I like I like maybe the tutorial case in this one a little more than the other one in terms of difficulty. But in terms of like characters. I think I like the first tutorial more and things of that nature, so I'll find myself kind of going back and forth on it. I'm not sure I'll make a, a list or not one day of all the cases and how I feel about them in order. I mean, the tutorial ones will generally be lower because they're tutorial ones, but this one will not also be very high on the list. It'll be like, I mean, right now for me, it's easy bottom four, if not bottom three. So it is what it is there, but we, we got more cases to go. And I have a feeling I know where uh, the next bottom two are going to be. it be right there. Just mm mm mm. So we'll continue onwards. I'll try to make it fun. I'll try to put, poke fun at the game at times. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, prepare yourself, chat, prepare yourself. I will say, as I said before, th something to look forward to. I did somewhat like the mystery of this one. It was a little more ambiguous than them literally showing you the killer. Because that was also a big thing in Phoenix, right? They love to showing you the killer, which I don't care about in the tutorials. 
I don't care if the tutorial does that. I just find it annoying in like four or five case game that like four of the cases just outright tell you who the killer is or like three of them do. It's kind of like, nah, come on. At least make it a little exciting. But anyway, chat, that's all I have to say for YouTube. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.